welcome once again to the Triple Crown Wargaming Studio, where today you're about to bear witness to a very serious game. Possibly the most serious game of Warhammer we're ever likely to play. In life, sometimes you're presented with profound philosophical questions. Questions such as, what is the meaning of life? Do we have free will? But sometimes, James, they're even more profound than that. Today is one of those occasions. And that question you'll find is, who is better, Archeon or Tyrion? Unfortunately, Max, I've got just the just the mechanism. Double just. That's Double how important just. the mechanism how is. That's how serious today is. It's a serious game. And the game. mechanism is the big boy beatdown. Indeed. So this is going to be a 3,000 point game. Six turns, no old bard, Warhammer, Fantasy Battles. And we will decide once and for all if it's Tyrion or Archeon. Let's do this. Right, today guys, I am going to be using the Warriors of Chaos, led obviously by the big man himself, but before we get to him, let's start with some of his supporting units. So first up we have the Skull Crushers of Corn. there are four of them. We have a full command in the Skull Crushers of Corn. they are all armed with ensorcer weapons, and the, beard and the banner bearer is holding the war banner. Next to them is two Slaneshi Chaos Chariots, there's no upgrades apart from the Lock Slaanesh. Next to them is a Gorby's Chariot. The Gorby's Chariot has the mark of Nurgle, that tasty minus one two in combat. Next to the Gorby's Chariot is my big block of warriors. There are 27 warriors of chaos. They all have halberds, shields, the mark of Nurgle, full command, and the banner of swiftness. Behind the warriors is the Hell Cannon, affectionately known to many of my friends as Rainbow Dash, the Hell Cannon. Um, next to them, is the a 20 man, 19 man, sorry, unit of Warriors of Chaos. They all have the marker Zinch and have shields. There's a full command and they have the Lichbone Pennant. Next to them is five Chaos Warhounds, bog standard, no, no upgrades on them. On to the characters, we have my Exalted Hero BSB. You'll see is the Battle Standard Bearer. Chaos Mutations of Powers, he has scaled skin. In terms of magic items, he has the Charm, Shield, and a Dawnstone. And he also has the Mark of Nurgle. Next to him is the Chaos Sorcerer on the other side. Uh, he is a level 2 Chaos Sorcerer on the mark of Law of Metal, sorry. He has the Marker Zinch, the Spell Scroll, an Enchanted Shield, um, uh, and a Chaos Familiar. And on to the big man himself up front and middle is Archeon, the ever chosen Lord of the End Times. He is mounted on Dorgar. He is level 2 on the Law of Fire. And he comes with all his equipment, which is the Armour of Morkar, the Crown of Domination, the Eye of Shirian, and the Slayer of Kings. So Arcan obviously is going to be the big man on campus this today. He's going to show Tyrion how much of a pansy elf he really is. And yeah, he's going to throw down the biggest of beatdowns. Right guys, so this is the army that today we're going to use to prove that Tyrion is in fact the biggest boy when it comes to combat characters in the Warhammer world. So we're going to start with three regiments of Illyrian Reavers. There's five in each regiment uh, and they've got bows and spears. Ignore the flag in the front regiment, that's just uh, for decoration today. Uh, to the back and to the right of them, you'll see we've got two chariots. We've got a White Lion Chariot of Trace and to the right of that, we've got a Sky Cutter Chariot and that he's been equipped with the Eagle Eye Bolt Thrower as well. In front of that, we've got a regiment of 15 High Elf Archers. They've got a Musician and a Standard Bearer. And to round off our core units, to the right of them, we've got 24 Sea Guard. Now these guys have got shields and they've also got full command. Behind them you'll find the first of the pair of Phoenixes. This one's my Flame Spire Phoenix, complete with his Flame Encounter if he's slain in battle. Uh, to the right of that, the second Phoenix, which is our Frost Heart Phoenix. In front of him, you'll find a unit of eight Dragon Princes of Kalidor which have also got full command. And to finish off my, my Warhammer regiments for this battle, I've got 25 White Lions with full command and the Banner of the World Dragon. Now I've got three characters in this army, two to support the big man Tyrion. So we'll start, I've got my Battle Standard Bearer. He's a noble, he's got an enchanted shield, dragon armor, and the sword of anti-heroes. To the right of him, we've got my level four Arc Mage. Now she's got the Talisman of Endurance and the Book of Hoeth. She's going to be using the Law of High Magic today. 
And then finally, and most prestigiously, here he is, the big boy himself, Prince Tyrion. He's riding Malhandir to battle today. He's equipped with Sunfang and wears the dragon armor of an Aryan. And that is why his great regal self will be the victor in today's big boy beatdown. Okay, so we're getting ready to, uh, to get started now. Big Boy Beatdown games are always settled the same way. We use the standard battle line mission from the Warhammer rulebook with a 100 point margin of victory. So 100 points is all you need to score. That's all you need at the end That's of the day. That's all you need at the end of the day. Now, as with every Big Boy Beatdown, we have the beatdown victory condition, which trumps all of this. If, in this case, today's big beatdown victory condition, if Tyrion kills Archeon or Archeon kills Tyrion, Whoever is the victor of that conflict automatically wins the game. There's, there's no question. There's nothing left to be answered. No, it's right the, there on the table. The question of the day has been answered. It at is. That, point it doesn't, time. that doesn't mean Archeon runs away. It doesn't mean Archeon gets killed by some other unit. It just means that when Tyrion steps up and chops his head off, I will win. You, you like to say, but when Tyrion steps up and Dorgo kicks his head off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going to happen in the beat down here. What if Dorgar kills Tyrion? Eh? What if Dorgar kills Tyrion? I think that's the count. I, think that, I really think that's the count. But yes. <laughs> if he's not big enough to beat a horse, then he really probably isn't big enough, is he? So, um, without further ado, I'm going to generate some uh, magic spells yep. and then you do the same. We'll work out who's going to go first. Yes, indeed. So, I've only got the one wizard, as uh, you'll have seen in the army run through. And that wizard is a level 4 arc mage using the law of high magic. So, got two signatures. Hashtag just saying. <sighs> Broken law. We're better than you, we know it. So, oh, 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 you love to see it. So, we have got fiery convocation. You love to see it. Arcane I'm forging. Gonna turn Arcane's armor off. Poor, poor Archeon looking suddenly a lot less big. Oh, I need all these chaos gods to come in. Um, Tempest as well. And we've got a choice. So I think for the choice, that's a really tricky one, actually. Um, I think we're probably going to take Hand of Glory because your chaos stat lines are pretty cool. Um, they're, no, ch they're chunky. No, let me go over the top. We're, we're definitely not going to keep the Tempest. So we're, we're definitely going to swap the Tempest out. What for, though? Uh, we're going to swap that out for Soul Quench. I think. Yep. And I know I picked Hand of Glory. <laughs> but I think we're going to swap that one for Drain Magic too. <laughs> so we're going with Arcane Unforging, Drain Magic, Soul Quench, and Fiery Combustion. Lovely. And so now we're going to go on to my spell choices. As, as, also, as I said, Arcane on the big man himself is a level 2 wizard. Um, not the... magic to help him out. Exactly. Um... He needs every little bit of help at the end of the day. He's better, so what more do you want? He, but as I said, he's on the Law of Fire. Uh, not maybe, not maybe not the best choice of law, but I like Law of Fire. I think it's underused. It's got a lot of sometimes situationally good spells. In it. Tyrion likes Law of Fire too. He does. Good old five one over there. Hashtag loves it. Um... Anyway, so let's walk from spells of Arkham first. Nice. So level two, he's going to be guessing. Five and four, but no choice there, and well, it's not the spell I was looking to get, but hey ho. So, he rolled the Piercing Bolt to Burning and the Fulminating Flame Cage. Flame Cage is, I quite like that spell, because it's nice and good. So I've, I've got the blocks for it. Yeah, I've got the, yeah, I've got the blocks for it, um, but Piercing Bolt to Burning, not so much. Uh, we are going to swap Piercing Bolt for a good old fashioned Fireball. Can't get more classic than a Fireball spell in the game of Warhammer. No, I don't think you can. I think you're absolutely right there. So that's Arkham's choices of spells. We also have his little minion of the level 2 metal wizard. Riding side saddle to Arkham's big boy. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, 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 just dog I've got a sidecar now. He does, <laughs> he does. does. Needs more help, apparently. <laughs> The level yeah. two. So you're admitting that like you need no, two characters no, to match not one. That's not what we're admitting. <laughs> Arkan needs no help. Maybe he might like to bring his little pet, pet along for a side saddle session. <laughs> Let's go with that, yeah? I'm going to continue rolling for my spells if we don't mind it. <laughs> so, level two of metal rolls a five. Oh, that's not even what I wanted. 
Oh dear. He's got the glittering robes, which is a nice spell. That's good. Transformation of the lead, which is also in itself decent. Searing Doom, obviously, is a classic, but against the unit you have, it's not great because it causes fire damage. And all the Dragon Princes are fireball. So we're not going to take that, we're not going to sort anything out. So I think we're going to keep it as Transformation of the Lead and the Glittering Robes. And that'll be it for my I hope people are taking this very seriously. Can, they, can you tell that we are? We're taking this I very seriously. I hope they are. So I think that just leaves us to roll off to see which one of us is going to deploy first. Indeed. Next. Five. Four. Oh, as we mean to go on, sir. As we mean to go Four on. Crowns. All right. So in terms of. You going there? Sigma. Uh, I have got ten drops, I think. Twelve, actually. So you can uh, you can drop first, sir. Good for me. Okay, let's move on to do some deployment. Let's do that. Right, so as I am dropping first, I think it's only suitable that I drop a nice little unit chaff down. By letting you drop first, I'm giving you the a best chance of uh, of going first, you know, because yeah, you're going to need all the help you can get today. I think I think you're wrong, mate. I just That's what it comes as down we all to. know, Dorgar, side saddle card next to him, he's good to go. <laughs> You'll be dropping first, but I'll be dropping Arkham first. <laughs> That's how it's going down. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to put the, uh, a unit of pooches, and they're just going to situate themselves right on the edge of that. Well, I'm uh, going to mirror match you a little bit there, but with, you know, quality Poison Grace with some Illyrium Reavers. Right, my next drop will be a delicious Hellcat. One of my favourite pieces in a Chaos Army. I think they're just really cool. I'd, honestly, like, to take two seconds away from the Big Boy Beatdown, I, I don't understand why they don't see more. Like, you don't see more of them at tournaments. I think they're amazing. They are. They're, they're so they're, they're, good. They're, 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 they're the point of a um, contention like mine. It is, there's always got to be one for me. But there, that's, that's drop number two. Definitely think uh, people are going to see how yours performs and suddenly start taking a lot more of them. See how Caesar so... performs when it blows itself up turn one, yeah? Well, just, don't, don't, don't get me all excited. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'm going to go over second unit of Illyrium Reap there. Just going around the house. I am going to have... A unit of Warriors of Chaos, the Mark of Zintrons with Sword Aboard, or Sword and Shield for those at home. And now I'll just drop themselves into that little space there. Other equipment is available. That is, and you will be seeing other equipment in the army. So I'm going to go with another unit of Illyrian Reavers. So I'm going to pop them just there. Surprise, surprise. My next drop will be the first of my Chaos Chariots. Nice, sneshy one. Go there. I don't fancy those chariots much. Right, so uh, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to put some archers into this uh, this here building, actually. So they're going to sit in that building. Nice and comfortably within my deployment zone. So what I'll do is pop them up against the back of the building um, and I'll take one of these guys and pop him just in front of it so we know that that's where they are. My next unit will be the hammer of the army, pretty much. It will be the 27 Warriors of Chaos of No with Halberds. Posit themselves right there. That is a terrifying unit. It's a staple, I feel. That is a terrifying unit, and suddenly I'm looking at Hand of Glory and thinking, <laughs> oh, what have, I, what have I done? Well, if we're playing the game of hammers, I am going to uh, launch a hammer of my own and I'm going to pop one just there with a unit of Dragon Princes, I think. Mm -hmm. Next up for me, it'll be the Gorbeast Chariot, Mark and Urgle. Which way is right? I wish I'd bought bolt throwers. I wish I'd bought <laughs> bolt throwers. <laughs> We're going to go with a lion chariot of our own, I think. Kitty cat chariot. Indeed. My next one will be the last of the chaos chariots. Getting ready to treat your stuff. chaos warriors as cat sand. That's right. <laughs> he needs to be stopped, like, he needs to be stopped, guys. He needs to be stopped. Other cat litter brands are available. Just, uh, yes, yes, yes. Just so we, uh, we're all clear. 
and uh, be the bird seed as well. No, oh, what? <laughs> We're going to pop down our second chariot, which is the Sky Castle one. Sky Castle. Alright, I think we're down to my last unit. If you can't have fun during a big boy beatdown, when can you have fun? When your big boy cuts down the big boy. What's going to happen when Arkham cuts down I know, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to the disappointment on your face! <laughs> <laughs> right, and so we're going to have the Skull Crush the Corn. They're going to put themselves. Oof. So. Right, well, I'm gonna fuck a little unit of Sea Guard in there. Because in a game like this, it doesn't really matter where I put them, they're probably still gonna die. Oh, you are faking Sea Guard. <laughs> if I say this now, they'll. Be... Right, well, I'm down to my characters now. So, BSB. Will put himself into this unit here, into the big brick, and then my level two. Man, I love you on time. These dudes here. Onto the big man himself. Now, you know what? I'm actually really tempted to not put him in the skull crusher. <laughs> Just run on his own. On his own, or maybe with the warriors, because you don't have any. I haven't got any artillery. The only thing you do have is, is, the, is the turkey, the big frost heart. The frost heart, which yeah. Which does terrify him. He's only strength five. He's only going to wound your sixes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got Get down to one wound, Tyrion sweeps in. Gets, yeah! gets me the beatdown victory condition right now. I think we're not going to play it as such right now, but we are going to keep him with the Skull Crushers for now. He may take a saunter off by himself. <laughs> saunter? He might saunter off by himself. <laughs> right now, he feels like hanging around with the big boys there. Oh, it's. Really made this a yeah, more challenging on. deployment. Go on, put, put them down there. She's made me really made it a much more thoughtful deployment. I'm gonna pop my white lions over on this flank now, which was a uh, as you probably guessed from that large gap, not the original. No, I'm assuming they were going to go into the centre for, for them. But uh, I'm done, so it's now down to the rest of your deployment. Oh, okay, lovely. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to treat me. Oh yes. Sir. At least the turkey can go in the bigger uh, big area. Everyone's gonna realise that uh, I do this when I play Warhammer, aren't they? <laughs> I just sing really random songs. <laughs> so that's a, that's a a frost heart. That's what that's called. That is what that's called. That is what that's called. But I'm gonna try some uh, maneuvers here. The flame spider over question. here. Does does the does the phoenix the flame spider? Does it have five one roll? It does actually. Okay. I would thought that would have been maybe a shooting mistake they made and uh, not giving it five. No. No, it does have it. So that's very cool. I'm going to pop this, which uh, all will become clear in my first magic phase, what that is, up here. Because, you know, who doesn't love a good counter? I've got a couple of other useful counters too. And then it's character time. I, uh, I've got some dragon princes waiting We've for lovely, their liege. A lovely little gap in the centre there. To join them. There he is, Tyrion. 18 inch inspiring presence as well. That's nothing compared to Arkham's 24. Is it? I think it's 24. And then I've got my Arc Mage over here. Really quick for the, the Scott on the camera. And my Battle Standard Bearer, who's uh, you're not going to so Should be at this corner. Uh, oh, no, I lied. It is 18 inches, which is absolutely sick. <laughs> Thing is working as intended there. There we go. He's had to scan sideways. Doesn't really fit that end, it usually goes the other end. Just talking to the living reavers before they speed off into the distance. That's right. So, Max, do you have any vanguard moves? Straight in your face. So, all I do, so, shall we, uh, we'll. Do your vanguards? Do my vanguards? Yeah. So, these guys are just gonna move a little bit. Not very much, just wanna gain a little bit of ground. That's just for. For later, these guys are going to have a little. Just measuring center to center on these, getting my hand jammed in the unit as well. I'm just measuring center to center, center because it's center. a little bit easier. Send them to the grave, once they're dead. These guys just skadooch up to there. And I think I am ready to roll off. Perfect. So you get the plus one, good sir. I do get the plus one. I kind of want. I kind of want first turn here. Yeah. 
Let's hope for it, let's hope for it. So, first one to me. Six. So it's uh, one in six of the time as we re-roll it. Here we go. No. no, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be chaos, turn one. Let's do it. Chaos turn one, we are going straight into the big boy beat down and we're gonna do everything else we need to do. Right, as per usual with the Chaos Hell Cannon, it does need to roll for a crazy test, which by power leash test, he has to turn towards the most, the nearest visible enemy unit and move 3d6 straight towards them. That counts as random movements, so it's done in a compulsory move phase. So, leash and knife with Chaos Dwarves. Ooh. You love to see it. This is, is why Maxi Tail Cannon goes crazy dance. He's in range. Of I'm hoping the... you see this every turn of the game today. <laughs> he's in range of the BSV. <laughs> is he? Yeah, oh, just about saying. like about a millimeter. And oh. he's fine. He's good this time. I have to stop doing the dance. Stop your dancing now. All right. So now there are no charges because I... there are only charges. Um, the skull crushers they are frenzy, so they can see those reavers. Can they complete the charge? Well, well whilst they got Arkin in there, will they pass the back of that building? Without having to wheel, I'm not sure they no. they won't. So yeah, they, the they can't make the charge, so they oh, don't no, have to test for it. Lovely. I'll leave him to last because I'm still contemplating whether Arkham wants to be there. All right, Slam Mage. Um, Slam Mage what? is contemplate. That's... Ah, okay. Nice. Tell. <laughs> I come out here every day. I work hard. I bring you nothing but gold, and this is what I get. Make sure it's gold, not gold dust this time. <laughs> All right, and then the Warriors Chaos, he's going to move Mosey on up eight inches. And he's about there, so I'm going to put him there, and I'm going to put one of my models to represent the front of the unit. Cool. There. That is where the Warriors Chaos are currently situated. Pooches, dogs, warhounds. Uh, and just, this is all just tactics to put him off. And these correct people. <laughs> these cast chariots is, uh, is there. They really terrify me, those cast chariots. Cast chariots, they are, they are pretty good. And they're I mean, amazing. They're, they're another staple there. And the fact that they're, they're core, it makes them really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this unit of Warriors Chaos will just move six inches forward. And as will the Gorbeast, which is quite handy. Get a little two for one there. Good. Just go straight up one. Right, now down to the Skull Crushers. Obviously, the white lines they have the Banner of the World Dragon, which is a massive pain. They might not. They might not, they might do. I can only guarantee that they're going to have the Banner of the World Dragon. I can only Dragon. guarantee! <laughs> but no. Archeon. Okay. Maybe I'll put them over here just to get in your head. Maybe. Maybe. As opposed to what Tyrion's going to be doing later, which is getting your head off. Yeah! No. Oh, Archeon, Archeon, Archeon. He's got to do it, mate. He's got to come on his own. He's got to be big. I think he's going to be big. I think, I think, he's, going to, I think he's so big that he's going to do it on his own right now. He's going to just go into the Warriors' Couch unit. Move the couch out over a little bit. There's an inch gap. So he's now in that unit. Skull Crushers, I think they're going to have to sack it. Sack it up. Take the hit. Hold them off for a little bit. I tell you, they're not they're not easy for even with the the, the banner. If I ha if I were to have it, if you were to have it, <laughs> they are not easy to deal with. Skull crushers. No, one of them say three wounds is quite nice. Yeah, even when you're strength six, it's a uh, it's a difficult day at the races. I think that's going to be it for movement. So on to chaos magic return. So big dice, maybe not really. Four and a one, great. Uh, I'll do my channel if that's all right with you. I've just got the one. And I don't get anything. I have my two channels. The Archeon does not channel. The Chaos Sorcerer, who does have Chaos Familiar as well. Oh! I'll need to actually roll for a third spell, because I forgot he did that as well. Okay. I've been, it's been a long time since I've used Warriors of Chaos here. All right, so Warriors, the Sorcerer does not channel. I roll for his other spell now, just to get him done with. Rolls a four. I've already had four, I think. I did not. So Look at this, middle of turn one. There's Golden Hounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, could be interesting. We're going to keep the Golden Hounds. So, five dice, two, four. You can see what we can get off here. All right, so. Let's 
24 and 12. I think. Oh, I know the range of all these spells now. Yes. Yes, you do. Uh, I think Arkham is going to go for Kiki, two dice from the Bible, on those living reavers right in front. You. Or actually, you no. brute. Not those ones. Those ones over there. And what uh, what level of fireball? You just have? a level one. Little right? level one. Just fireball. a little D6 strength, strength four hits. Okay. So you need a five plus to cast it. He does. Authority. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Uh, lucky, lucky for some rat men, you could that's say. That's a lot, isn't it? I'm going to use three to attempt to spell this. I need a nine. Almost miscast himself, which is very interesting. So, uh, I actually score a nine there. Nice. Okay, spell. I've only got one dice left, though, for the second uh, second helping. Which is going to be, I think... Hmm. That chaff is so important when you're fighting an army like Warriors of Chaos. Yeah. We're gonna put the, we're gonna put a flame cage on flame flame cage flame cage on the same unit of uh, reavers. Okay, yes. yeah. Uh, cool. We are gonna go with. I really don't want to miscast because that will just defeat the entire purpose of the big boy big down if he goes down the hole. <laughs> we are gonna. You only got one dice, haven't you? I, I do. That's all I need. I see. Cast on eleven, so you need a nine. <laughs> you can. You're gonna throw three. He's, he's gonna throw a three dice, mate. You don't. You're not the biggest boy if you don't throw the biggest amount of dice. Oh, you can. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, it's cast on a 12. Uh, well I can't physically dispel it. No. I can't roll an 8 on one dice. Is there no, uh, no cheeky scroll when you...? Uh, no, uh, no, I might have a different arcane oh, on, on my wizard, but, uh, which is why it was worth saving one dice. But, uh... Right, so Flame Flame Cage does D6 strength 4 hits to begin with. It does 2. That's up to 3 because you're an elf. I am. So 3 to 5 up, I'll say it was 6. 5 up, light armour, and they're on a horse. They're on a horse. So 3 to wound, 1 wound at minus 1. So we're looking for a cheeky crown. No. Nope. Oh, the opposite. And they are engulfed in the full main flame cage. Right. Oh. Around them. As if they move, they take. They each one will take a strength four. Ooh, it's unpleasant, isn't it? It's what's needed. I think. And so that ends the main phase. I think we're going to go on to the shooting phase. We'll be only shooting in the army. And one of the only shooting in the book, to be honest. I think we're going to drop the big old. Uh, Big old Doomfire onto Big Turkey. So he's picking on the Frost Art. We are picking on the Frost Art. I bring you beautiful bright blue models, and this is how you reclaim it. Bright blue models need to get off my table. That's what needs to happen. So yeah, we're going to put a dead center on the Frost Art Phoenix. Imagine being so scared. <laughs> maybe, maybe ask him. Maybe, maybe we're just so fronted by the nature of it. And then, so now we're going to roll for the Scatter and the Oscar. Four inches back. So we might hit some Reavers. I think it's pretty straight, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty straight to me. I think it's gonna. I think it's. Yeah, it's like that. Gonna just sort of situate yourself on hot. nothing. Yeah, I think unfortunately, that's a, a dead rubber for you. No worries. At least it didn't blow itself up. That's my main concern. I can get that back. Thank you. I think that's what's gonna be it for Warriors Chaos Turn One. To be honest, not much to do. Okay, let's do some high elves then. Yes. Okay, so on to High Elves, turn one. What does he feel like he thinks he's able to do? Hmm? Defender of all the world. Defender? Yes. And that might be because we're not super keen on going forward right this second. Um, oh, so he's defending that little spot of all the world. Yes, potentially. Um, so I think we're going to start with the Frost Heart, uh, with the Flame Spire rather. I think he's just going to fly over here. And just sort of lurk, sort of quite a distance from that, that flap, horse. Flap. And these guys are just going to have a little trouble about there as well. So, let's go down this end. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Max. These boys are brave. So they're all going to take a strength four hit as they move. Big brave boys. They are. So shall I deal my own doom? Can do, yes. So threes to wound myself. We like to see. One's all I need. Um, so three take wounds, and then on a roll of a six, they survive because they have got a uh, five of armor save normally. Oh! oh. It, it, is, panic it is enough them. to panic them. So, but they are leadership ten because of Tyrion. Yes, they are having a great time, and they're going yeah, to use this opportunity to move their cells very delicately. 
the about here. I think. Our white lines are then going to take this chance to move five. A little bit of shuffly wheelie as we go. Like that with them. Uh, and at that moment, as much as it's not super advantageous, these characters are actually going to swap themselves around. Some of my wizards at this end, because That's what the my arm is. I want the wizard at this end at the moment, but uh, the BSB is sort of not where I want it. But that's uh, can't always have everything you want. Now, I'm afraid there's not going to be as much moving as uh, you'd maybe like. And for that, I am Sit sorry. Back. Look 40. Possibly, yes. So, like that. Uh, let's just gonna make sure that this guy's got a nice line of sight over the top, which he certainly should have. Now, I'm not sure I see a great deal of point in moving these archers because they're all right. Mm -hmm. So. I think that we are going to move on to cast some magic spells, yes. or at least attempt it. So, Ooh. oh, you love to see it. Well, I'm not going to stress about channeling, Max. I think you know, I might, if you I, want to, I, that's I fine. Do. It's fine. Uh, the little baby level two chaos also. Oh. G crap. And then I'll kill himself. Oh, oh. <laughs> the double channel. Certainly Interesting. was. Interesting. Well, so, what are we starting with? So first things first, I think we're going to go with a big soul quench on this chaos chariot. Oh, we need to do that. This 4d6 strength. Oh, the board. big, big, big one. The big one, yeah. So I need to, a 16 to get this one off. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is only an 11 because I get plus 5 to cast. So, now, okay, that's actually got it, but you know, we're going to treat ourselves because yeah. we've got the book of Reroll the one. So, we'll reroll the one, see if we can do better. We it does certainly better. can. And so, I think I'm going to let you have this go off. Okay, well, that's only a cheeky 20, so I can see why you feel that way. Um, so, Sorry, level two. I'm going to get a Shield of Safari counter, so I've got some little counters because, you know, this is my, my loss. Um, <laughs> And like. that gives me plus one wall save on those, or as the white lines don't start with one, they get six up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how many hits we do. Oh. <laughs> 20! Damn. That's a big 20, and if oh. you could see Scott's face on the camera, you would really appreciate what's happening here. Um, there may not be a, there may be a chaos chariot sized pole in my arm in a second. Well, we can only hope. Now, I'm just going to take two out of my power pool, uh -huh. and I'll put it back at the end. So now they're tough as five, these they guys, aren't they? So we don't need fives, that's quite a big ask, but we should get a few here. Uh, uh, well, pretty good. Five? One, six. two, three, four, five, and six. Pretty much bang on the average. I'll put those two power dice back. Yeah, sure, sure. they do come with a three of arm save. That's, that's a great arm save, isn't it? Just a big chunk of metal. So, four goes pluses. Down, goes down to four plus for the strength four. Uh, he oh! does die. Does hey! drop dead. That's how you start. It does drop dead. Panic? Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for the warriors. <gasps> Ooh! I mean, Arkan has an arsenal, so he's immune to fear, terror, and panic. He doesn't pass it on to his unit, does he? This is the face for a man who can answer that question. Obviously. Um, I move on the assumption he doesn't. He doesn't. But he wouldn't normally panic yeah. himself, I think, is the way it works. So, we're going to go Alicia 10 for Mark Elm. Oh, wow. Alicia yeah. 10, awesome. <laughs> I mean, he's needed it, but he's got it. To be honest, that's really cool as well. It's nice to feel rewarded for taking a character like Arkham, because you can't get Leadership 10 for us, Cass. He's one of so, two or three characters that has Leadership 10. I'm surprised it was that many. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, for high elves, obviously, you know, we're actually good leaders, so... <laughs> yeah, we were all, we all got leadership 10. <laughs> Not a big deal to us. Alright, um, alright, alright. <laughs> Next on the equation, after what can only be described as an incredible soul quench, we're going to ride this wave. 
We're going to go with four dice again. We're going to go with Arcane Unforging on your big boy. Because mm -hmm. he's not much about his tools. He's not. He is. And we don't like that. We don't want to miss past. So we're going to mm -hmm. use... I'm going to just double check. I'm not sure I can use the book to re-roll sixes. I think, might, yeah. uh, I think it might have a caveat that says yeah, I can't. Um, so let me just check. So the book allows the bearer to re-roll a single dice for each of his casting or spell attempts. Results of a six may not be re-rolled. No, so, well. I, I want you to know, I would have. Um, <laughs> are we going to turn off Arcane's armor? Well, first things first, Max, we're going to roll a dice. And we on are, a, yes. On a two plus, so you're going to take, take a, a wound, wound. Yes. with no armor saves. We certainly are going to do. do that part. He, has all, he does have his three up ward save. He does. So, three up, he's fine. He loves it. Loves, right. Loves the crown. Now, the next part of the trick is we roll to see which of his magical items we strike. He has, he has selected many. at random. He has many. He does. Which one of his... Uh, which one of his, his How many has he got? So that's the, uh, if he's got four, then we're going to have to get creative. Does Dorgar count as a... Uh, he, 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 I don't think <laughs> he, he does, does he? Can I set up his <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> just a mount. Get off your horse. No, he has four. I can't destroy mounts. So he does I, have four. <laughs> Alright, I'll roll a dice. Um, we'll go down the, the page, Yep. if that makes sense. So okay. we're going to use the army book here, so mm -hmm. Scott can, uh, can get a shot of that. We'll go down the page of his magical items quickly. Um, and on a roll of a one, we we'll go down to four. And on a five or a six, I'll re-roll yep. it. So I've rolled a six, so I'll roll again. Roll it. It's a two. You turn up his armour. Yeah, turned oh! up his armor. Yeah, oh! turned up his armor now. That is the armor of Morkar gone, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what we spoke about before the game started, and why I was not looking forward to that spell. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, we'll see if I'm about to not look forward to this miscast. Go down the hole. I will not be going down the hole. Strength six. For everyone who can generate power or dispel mm -hmm. dice, uh, I'm going to just tuck my second counter on this unit because I've got two. Yep. Um, and uh, I've only got one wizard in this army so strength six hit for her she is wounded but if only she was in a unit with the banner of the world dragon is she in a unit with banner of the world dragon she is oh uh, so on a roll of a two plus hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> she deserves that she's got two wounds remaining so I'll pop. are we doing wounds left uh i got i do wounds left left so two left and then i'm gonna lose one power bias. that's absolutely outrageous well. So she's still got three. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to pretend there's a lot we can do with three, but we could have a guard combo. <laughs> and I think it's what we're viewing on me today. Cheeky fire combo, go on. But that was still on three, sexy. that's really high. So, but we'll put it on these boys here. Yep. Magical domination. Well, wait, incoming. Where's, where's the double six? Right, now I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I can reroll this one. Mm -hmm. And on a roll of, <laughs> a roll of a four plus. 50% yeah. of the time, I cast yeah. the spell every time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 21? And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you've watched the uh, High of Deep Dive, now you'll understand what I say when I say Lilias Blessing, Book of Hoa, Fire two. Magic. Just outrageous. Top Just two. outrageous. So that's, now, uh, that's 21 on three 21. dice. 21. I need, I need 19. I have eight dice. It's not impossible. But do I want to unfurl the scroll? Maybe? <laughs> oh, this is actually hard. <laughs> I think we're going to go for the big boy decisions here. You love to see this. We Look at the roll. pressure on his face and a three dice half. Oh, you love to see we it. We are going to roll with the eight dice. Uh, you should, you should really should get it. Realistically, watch, watch this though. Yeah, there Double crown. To the double crown. Love it. Right, now. Just, uh, I'll bring it down there for you guys to see. Just because I never remember what the Phoenix's abilities do, this little twister twists. So to start the magic phase, you pick the single highest dice to see what the effects on the Phoenixes are. And then this guy points at them for me. So this uh, turn, I rolled two sixes. So that's a plus one ward save for both of my Phoenixes. So, looking good. I'm going to pop that back up here now to keep me uh, well informed so I don't forget. And I'm going to move on to do some shooting. Yeah. I'm going to say that was a really, really good... I mean, the one spell that I did not want to go off. Let's yeah. be honest. So let's start with the, uh, the Goliath Bolt Thrower. He's going to pop up. It's, it's fun. He's going to shoot the Gore Beast with it. He was going to try and take the last oh, no, one. That one, mate. Like... That went much better than I was expecting. You shoot Ockham. So um, I can't target him because he's in the unit. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, it hits on a three, but uh, mm -hmm. I've moved. So it hits on a four. 
it's a long range, so it hits on a five. Yes. But that's okay, it's just going to hit. It is no, not. That's a one. That's the opposite of hitting. Um, <laughs> so we'll move on. We're going to start uh, shooting these dogs. And I, yep. I think we're going to go with the archers in the tower to shoot the dogs with, I think. Want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, they've got 30 inch range, so <laughs> plenty of range. Uh, now, I think we've only got two floors there. But you can shoot 10 a floor, so that lets me shoot all 15 of my shots. Now, these would be threes normally, but they're long range, so they're hit on fours. And they're unimpeded otherwise. Quite a lot of misses. Not bad, though. So, six hits overall. Mm -hmm. And then uh, strength three, toughness. So dogs is a three. So, four pluses. Just Ooh, two. Just two. There's panic test, though. It will, and uh, they do get Archeon's very prestigious leadership, though. They do. 18 inch bubble. I'm assuming they're going to be in. Oh, very much so. They are. Up. Leash pen. I Pass. love it. The dogs so, to the, bat, the big man himself. We're going to take the five Reavers here, and they're going to fire on the dogs, too. Yep. So that's going to be uh, fours, because they moved, and fives, because of the long range. Ooh. Three hits. This will be it. Could be my dog, my poor old dog's gone. Four pluses? No, no, just one. Just one pooch. I think I'm going to end up investing a lot more in this than I was uh, into some dogs. hoping to invest in it, shall we say. I'm only going to get four of these. Mm -hmm. So they moved for fours, they're at long range for fives, and they're shooting through soft cover for sixes. But let's just do it anyway. Let's see what happens. One, one hit. hit, and four plus. Hey! hey! Now I've got this one unit of Sea Guard, which just seems like a humongous. Oh, no, just shoot them all, humongous in, all, in to, all into one piece. To shoot them all at that one dog. But uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to. Mm -hmm. uh, so six. Uh, 12 shots because of two ranks, and they also get their third rank because they're Marshall Krauss. Yep. Gotta love it. And then they'll get half their full rank because they stood still. So they'll body fire that. Oh. Uh, and these will be at. Fives, long range, and so, uh, no, actually not no, soft cover soft anymore. I've killed nothing. So fours. I think this dog's in trouble. He probably is. Four or Fido. Fido, Cujo, which one do you want to go with? Gonna be some uh, Fido. <laughs> <laughs> They're cats or hounds. They're not exactly tough. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and fours to kill him. Yeah, he's yeah. very dead. Oh, you know what it would have been dead, to be honest. Bit of, yeah, I should have shot them first, didn't I? Uh, and a bit of panic, maybe, for some of the guys around. It will be, yes. So, what marks panic. that Gorby's got? Nurgle. Oh, he's so panic. he can panic. And he's these warriors as well. So, here's the, here's the panic. He can tie panic, just everything falls. Remember, fall folks, up. he is for panic. So, the Gorby's chariot is leashing 10 for the Archeon. <laughs> my leash is my leash. Your leash is tied, so you are playing with fire. <laughs> The warriors on the other side that are not giving BSP range, so this could be a dangerous proposition. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, leadership eight for the warriors' house. Yes! Spike, what is going on? So they will be going that way. Right? I, I'm not happy. No, I'm, 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 I'm. You know, I could. I, I, obviously, you could tell from that shouting outburst that I, I didn't have a particularly strong opinion on it. Um. Well, so they are there. They'll turn that way, and then they'll go. Now I roll under an eight, obviously. I roll the dog's leadership. I roll the dog's leadership. So they are there. There they are. Oh, well, I'm having a good time. So, um, and that just leaves me three shots over there, which uh, I'm just going to take into the juggers. Mm -hmm. Or oh, do I take hits from that spot if I shoot? Or is that, am I, I, mean, get, am I getting that confused with, uh, confused with the net? There's an Ammon top, yeah. I mean, it's just if they, if they move, yeah, sorry. So these would be fours because they move mm -hmm. into the Chucker Knights. Because, you know, we're having such a turn of it, I might kill one. Um, Probably. One hit, and then fives. One move. Take, the... take your one up, Armour Save. One up, Armour Save. Ah! Yes! <laughs> always, ah. always man, take your Armour Save. <laughs> what a turn. What that was a phenomenal deep. opening turn for me. That was an amazing what? turn. <laughs> so uh, and after that amazing turn, I'm going to hold my hands back and uh, pass the baton of the big boy beatdown back to the Warriors of Chaos.
Chaos Warriors turn two. Um, Where's your confidence gone? It's up there. Oh, the big man may be in his pants, but he is ready to throw out the ice here in the Slayer King. I'm going to be honest, though. Let's just have a moment of real talk. Could you imagine a man the size of Archeon just running straight out in his pants? I'd arguably be more frightened. <laughs> on, on a big scary demon horse. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's look at charges. He's no less skilly. He's just. He's no, just, he's just <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> he's just a bit less survivey. Archeon now has, does now have. Move at nine. I feel like, does he want to charge straight into Tyrion? <laughs> does it reduce the movement? What? No, no, no. Oh, he can draw, charge out on his own, you mean? Dog, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I might have made a terrible position in there right here. Dog, uh, he's a Steve of the Apocalypse, and he's a quick man, quick boy. Oh, that's quite a way still, isn't he? A 10? Or a 9? He's a 9, so it'll be a 10 charge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay, I'm not too disappointed in my position in there. If you want to take that chance, you do it. Uh, before I do anything, though, the I've, big got, man's waiting for you. I've got to do my crazy test on the Hell Cannon. But for those, I will get the actual name for those people at home that want to know what it is, rather than me just saying it's a crazy test. Is it break, Breaks its Shackles or something like that? No, is it, it or is, or is Caged one? Fury. Ah, there you go. Apologies. But well, I have always, in the time of using it, just called it the crazy test. At least mine. <sighs> Another <laughs> spiked <laughs> leaser test on my part there. I think it, well, you have a, a, oh, he might not be in the Chaos he's Warriors not, range anymore either. The Chaos Battle Standard range. BSB's out as well. Well, sometimes, folks, you really want a lot, but you also feel a bit bad. And Max's leadership dice today are what we call the lip quiver. I will say this though: whenever I play you, my leadership has always been bad. Like, honestly, some of the stories. Because you're not brave enough. No, oh, I. <laughs> So, so what can what can Hellcanners do against such reckless? Your dice can smell the fear. They can. <laughs> so closest unit. I think the closest unit is going to be them over there. I think. Uh, well, it might not be because is it a visible unit? I think it might be visible. Unit. Let's have a look. I, I don't know if it is because I think it can turn around on the spot. It turns around. Right? Yeah. I'll measure this up for you. So you're you're twenty nine and a half away from that white line chariot. These ones, I think, are a bit like the closest unit. So 29 right. from the Reavers. Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're, you're over that. 30, 31 and a half to the Frost Teeth. So you're really definitely a, a lot further than that. So that would be 29 ish. Okay. So, yeah. so we'll be those there'll Reavers. be those five Reavers, yeah. With those five Reavers. So that's done in the compulsory move phase. So I'll do that when we get down. Round six. Any charges? I'll count, I'll count, I'll count. I'm just getting ready to draw some. Is this, would would this be the hour that we can all source together? Not really. Maybe. We're enemies. Other franchises are available. That is a 18-inch charger. Yeah, I wanted it to be big, but I also need to actually get it into a position where I can do something. So I think the chariot will give it a shot. Yeah, I can see that argument. I think the chariot will give it a shot. I, I will stand, because uh, it's, if I run, it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, the skull, hey, Skullcrush, I've got a test. Ready for another... <laughs> they're right, they're leadership 10 though, aren't they? They will be because Archeon. Because Archeon, Archeon, yeah, so... <laughs> that, <laughs> that is on the, their... The that fear! That is on their leadership. Subject, do I smell your fear? They know that you know in your heart he's not the biggest boy. You, you, keep, you keep saying that, but you know in your heart it's just not true. I think Archeon... I don't Archeon. have a heart, I'm a high elf. Uh, <laughs> let's see. That's, that's how it's going. Um, Archeon's not going to shine. I, yeah. think, it's I think that's the right decision. decision. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be all the charges. So they test. They did. They restrain. did restrain. Yeah. I don't. I'm not going to charge. It's, okay. I'm not okay. going to charge this. It's like yeah, whatever. Uh, right. So that. So this charge over it. Eight ten. I'm a little more scared about this one. Come on. I'm drawing nothing but high numbers so far. Yeah. Ooh. Nine. A nine. A nine. It's huge. So he's going to amble up six. It's a good distance to move. I mean, on the plus side, you can be pretty confident that the flame spire won't be charging him back. I, I so, um, why not? He might, he might have to do something. Uh, but you bef yes, sorry, this that was a charge. So that yeah, you're charge. fine. No, yeah. I do rallies. No, it's, uh, yeah, compulsories, isn't it? So rallies. So the rally for the Warriors Chaos. Yep. The They've got a musician, haven't they? They do. Excellent. So leadership mine. They love on it. On the dog's leadership again! <laughs> <laughs> you're it's barking fun. mad, mate. Oh. <laughs> Right, so they are going to turn to face. They're doing? Probably. 
Huh? So we did move those after uh, yeah. off the camera, didn't we? We sorted out their actual finalised position. Uh, and the hell cannon. We'll need to turn. Face some reavers in the distance. <laughs> Run at the back of those warriors. Uh, yeah. Practically <laughs> rallying warriors to chaos. We're good, we're good, boys. Whoa! Stop it, he's Yeah, he does. It's not like a doom wheel. Oh, I mean, I won't worry about it. He stops probably four inches away. Four inches. Um, Alright, it'll just go like that. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. And then other movement. Does make decisions a little bit more interesting. What needs to be done? I think we might need to stick around like that. It's going to be a game of buffs now, isn't it? Who's going to, who's going to move into position first? Until the Hellcannon decides to actually do his job and take out the turkey. If he wants to. Well, I'm just looking at my first soul quench and thinking that other chariots are available. Um, <laughs> so. Alright, so now onto the Chaos Magic turn. So. Yep. So, seven. That's not bad. As you know, I haven't got a scrub, so that's good. I'm going to take my, uh, my one channel. Mm -hmm. No. And the, so the sorcerer of Zinc. Second one. He does. Oh, he does it, guys. He did it again. Big man Arkham. Hey! I can't be mad. I can't be mad about it. Oh, dear. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Arkham, Arkham. Where is my. That gives you nine to my four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so. It's a call. Magic, magic, magic. Cool. I think we might try. We, we might try and take out the turkey. I suppose the frost heart. Stop being mean to the frost heart. He just, what has he done to you? When did he hurt you? What, what, he literally just stood there. I, 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 Next I, I, to Tyrion. He probably eat a bit of bit of seed. Maybe I, some can, millet. I can name many games in the past in which he hurt me many. Oh, time. so it's 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 it's, 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 it's a grudge. It's, it's, okay, it's a grudge. Profile it. That's fine. <laughs> right, right. So now we're, we're gonna, gonna go down to magic. So we're gonna do. I think a quick cheeky. Uh, glaring robes on the warriors. Three dice glaring robes. It's gonna cast. That's a great result as well. Mm. Do you know? I just, I, if I throw dice at this, I need that's a, a fourteen in total. Uh, it's nine. No, that's no, that's twelve. No, it's six. That's a six. More than nine. Yeah. yeah, fourteen. So again, I'm looking at that and thinking I need to roll a ten. Mm -hmm. I need to roll three dice. So I'm gonna have to let that one go yeah. because it's just a big value. So glittering robes on. So Arca now is not in his skews anymore. No, he's got he's got a back to four four up or three up. Three up, but he keeps the shield. Yeah, he keeps the shield. He wasn't really in his skews. That's what I say, yeah, five up half though. Oh well you made a little big bones out of it, got me all excited. <laughs> <laughs> and then so now I think we're gonna try and do, do some again, damage yeah. to the bird. To the turkey. Uh right, so I think I'm saying the turkey is four five. Five plus. plus. But he has got a 4 plus ward save at the moment, yes. courtesy of my uh, illustrious level 6 last turn. I think we're going to go for a quick cheat. I think we're going to go for a uh, level 2 fireball. I'm going to include here. Okay. 3 dice. It's cast. How many dice have you got left? 3. That is a 13. Uh, Well, you've been good, Illyrian Reavers, and I'm sorry you're so sick. Yeah, I'll let that go. I have also just realised the rope cannot go on in. It's all in range. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to pop it onto the other unit, Warriors Chaos? Uh, actually right, cast it. Yeah, we'll cast it. That's my bad, folks. That I did not realise it was only 12 charges. I thought it was 18. So what? So uh, we're going. You let yeah, go I'll let that go. Yeah, I'm going to hope you roll low. So two, six, strength, four hits. You love to see it. Um, Three hits. Strength four, so three to wounds. Told you, just to put the bus and no, I'm not scared. Three wounds. Three wounds. <laughs> I'm more scared of that. Um, so they're strength four, they're minus one, so I've they just are. got my six up armor save against these now. Three dead. So they're going to panic, very much like their, you, uh, their owner fail? operator at the moment. Can you uh, fail some panic tests? I'm each at ten though. So no, I can't. Sort of five, got a bit worried. Um, That's that, and then that was I three, think... wasn't it? Yeah. That was brave. That was brave letting go spell there. Oh, we're going to put the flame page back on those that you know. Is that the last you know? It's the last three nights. Okay. So flame page on the same of the rivers that are blocking off these crushers. Ooh, 16. I, 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 I might as well try. Yeah, you got four um, So, 16, so I'm, I'm looking for a 12. Yeah. Yeah, pretty comfortably there. 13, lucky for, uh, lucky for Skaven. 
And that was a pretty good magic place. It wasn't awful. It wasn't bad, was it? Um, it's difficult to have an amazing one, so you've got level twos. So. Nice. Yeah, that's one of the issues that we've. Honestly, I thought one of the issues with Arkan. He is a lot of points. He's, yeah, he's, he's the wizard, he's only level two. He's a big chunk, isn't he? Mm -hmm. so. but, but that, that once again, another, another speedy caster. Because that, that I don't know, shooting because he ran towards like a mad, mad dog. But that'll be <laughs> the end of Chaos turn two, on for higher. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so on to High Elves turn two. Yes. So I, I don't have any Declarges to chair. Declarges? Declarges to chair. I don't have any of those, but I also don't have any uh, charges to declare. So, you uh, sure those Lyran Reavers don't want to charge into the uh, Skullcrow? We had a chat about it, right, uh, while she was doing your turn. We sat yeah. down, you know, we talked. Uh, socially distanced, obviously. Mm -hmm. but, um, but they just decided they didn't feel like it. They didn't feel like no, making, they just, making they, the big They just charge. didn't want to do it. They did want to move like that, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I'm lying. They actually were very vocal about it being even more that even way. Even more just yeah. annoying. Yeah, basically, yeah. So. Sorry. Other move. Other move. Any, are, are there any? There are no charges. But... No. I'm gonna fly over that that mm -hmm. uh, guy there. He's wake of fire. It's uh, it's really much better against blocked up units. Yep. So um, so it, like D3. it does D6, I believe, plus D3 for every uh, for every rank that you have. Yeah. So it is a. Uh, the unit suffers D6 strength, 4 hits, plus an additional D3 for her rank after first. So it's just going to be the D6, but I'm going to roll a 6. All of the viewers now at home, I'm going to. Probably. 4. Almost. We tried. Toughness? 5. So these are going to be 5s to win. Mm -hmm. Just a 1. Won. So that's okay. We can do have a 3 up arm save. <laughs> 4 up against that as well. Oh, it's 4 of arms as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And a 3 win, doesn't it? Getting rewarded for taking those... Uh, Maybe less than a uh, less than optimised choices. I think we're going to march these guys up into this gap here, and uh, try and keep them keep a bit of a control on them. I was going to move up eight, so a little pivot. Move up like this. Yep. Fun of that Gorby's chariot. Apologies. Want to do a favoured trick of mine there, which is get the front on both of those pretty much neck yeah. and neck, so that it's really difficult because of the spacing to not hit both when you charge them. And then himself. He is, yeah. He's going to go there. I'm really pleased that you decided not to charge over there because it's uh, given me more more choices mm -hmm. as to what I can do uh, in the remaining gaps. And actually, I think it's going to be a considerable wheel around to here. This time, we'll just leave them out in the cold for the moment. And then these guys are going to come up three. We're going to have a little two inch wheel at the end as well, yep. just to get a little more aiming. And I think with that, we're going to go for another magic phase. Yes. Will the tides of the winds of magic be as, uh, as favourable as last turn? Not quite. Not as much. But, uh, but certainly not something I can use. So we're going to go for plus one attack on the Phoenixes this time. Mm -hmm. um, with that, just the one channel for me. No, so I'll get six. Channels, Channels for me. me. Can we do it for a third time in a row? That would be amazing if we could. No, no. So that's the Sorcerer of Chaos, which is an, an, an arc arrow. An arc arrow. No. Okay, so six to four. Well. It'd be rude, wouldn't it, not to? Arcane I think we're Arcane on Forge, Arcane on. <laughs> Once again. 
Uh, I'll re-roll the two. Yeah, you might as well. I'll just treat Why myself. Not? I just feel like it. I feel like I've earned this today. Um, so that's 18 on three dice. You love to see it. Three Wait. remaining. We will unfurl the scroll this time. Ah, oh, boo hiss. We will unfurl the scroll. Boo hiss. Much disappointment over that. So. Hmm. What to do now? I know, it's always those difficult decisions. Two dice. We're going to go for a range check. We're going to go for a soul quench. Yep. On Archeon's unit. A little soul quench. Just a little one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It is cast. Mm -hmm. I'll reroll the two with the banner for a one. It's still cast on an eight, so. Does it a natural one or a two? A natural roll of a two or less. Yeah, so Three like... plus is fine, yeah. yeah. So that, that will cast on an eight, insanely, and I've got one left. Um, oh, I've got drain magic. Or as I like to call it in this instance, some counters for my unit. There's not even this one <laughs> you can pull off. Fire complication on one d No, no, there's, there are limits and lines. Drain magic, so it's just going to give you. Just the... gives me a counter. Yeah, counter, yeah. Uh, we'll use three dice. Yep. Stop it. Weak. Certainly will. And then I'm just going to use one to cast Drain Magic yep. on Archeon's unit again. So can. Five, I'd that's ten on one dice. I can't stop it. <laughs> it's absolutely outrageous, ladies and gentlemen. So, unfortunately, just gives me the one counter this time. But it, it, that's the beauty of that spell, even when you haven't got anything to stop. You're just, you just generating myself. the little counters all the time. So, uh, so it's not, not as, as prestigious as last turn, I wouldn't say. So, we'll take a... Catch. We'll take five shots with these Reavers mm -hmm. at the Unit Warriors count. <clears throat> so these be fours because they move. Three hits. And then there'll be fives to wound because the strength wound. three and the Warriors are toughest four. Two wounds. Two wounds, okay. Three of armor safe. Yeah. Uh, right. Now... We're going to take the Eagle Eye Bolt Throw up and yep. we're going to shoot it at the... Uh, oh, even better, yeah. It's a very good point. They passed, They would have passed with uh, glittering colours, if you will. Wow. There. <laughs> yeah. you love to see it. He's, he's so, insufferable sometimes. Uh, one Bolt Throw shot at the... At the... Gore Beast. Gore Beast. Yep. This will be five, so because he's moved and because he is a long range. So let's uh, let's bring it down here to an exciting... Uh, by a Gore Beast shot. No. No. So oh, exciting. So exciting. Uh... And then, uh, to be honest, I might as well take some more pot shots here. Yeah. So two shots at the Gorby's Chariot yep. from the Reavers in front. Fours. Uh, he's two hits. And sixes. No, adds up to six. Um, bows in the building. Fifteen shots. Bows in the building. Bows in the building. Sounds, sounds like a musical pop. Fours for hit. Right there, ladies and gents. That's the four. Six is to win. Six is to win, yes. I have one, though. We have the only strength three, so it's only going to be a three up arm safe. Hey, I saw the one. Well, I saw it as well, I was quite excited. Um, and I think that gives us three more shots at those Gorby, uh, those uh, jugger, mm -hmm. uh, Juggernauts at the end. Uh, the infamous uh, Skull Crushes of Corn. Skull Crushes of Corn. Uh, so these will be fours. They did move again. One hit. Fives. One wound. Here comes, Here comes again. another one. One of arm save. Nah, he loves it. Uh, and then I've got I've got 18 shots with the with the sea guard, but they are going to be on fours for moving, fives for long range, yep. seven because they're shooting through a unit at the gore beast. So sixes followed by fours. Pretty prestigious though. Five hits on the sixes. Three out Three. Of overall. I like this, and then we just need some more sixes. Nah, not this time. I've got a lot already, to be honest. So, okay, certainly not the uh, not the not, the, not, not the in the stratosphere that uh, turn one was, but uh, but I think we're just a, just about ready to hand over for some more Warriors of Chaos action. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to go and move into Warriors turn three. I think this is now going to be a turn of some charges. I feel. There's probably going to be some something going on here. We need to get the combat as quickly as possible because just having some mediocre magic and shooting isn't going to cut the We need to actually it. might for me. <laughs> it might for you. Not for me, unfortunately. Before we do that, we have to do the Case Fury test on the Hell Cannon. So, he's going to fail it for the third turn in a row. 
Uh, well, he re-rolled it and passed it. He did re-roll it, but he did fail it. That's, that, that's, that's the, the crucial thing. He's, He's going to pass it this loves time. It. He's ready. He's on his own. He's so ready for it this time. Doesn't even need to cast balls, mate. No, no, he does not. So, yeah, he's going to go like that. And so, we're going to move into charges. charges. So, these warriors, they're going to charge the Reavers. And those Reavers are going to stand in a brave and bold fashion. Oh, they might have, they might do. I mean, literally, that's their job. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be with the I, I don't think you can foul that one. No, yeah, I can't um, foul it, but... Any I, others? <laughs> Scott Crusher, I'm going to have to charge. Yes, they are. They can't just sit um, there. And I am going to dutifully... Take stand and fight because I'm brave and because there's only there's there's a knight on two ends there that I'm probably going to kill. <laughs> My horse is just going to boot him in the air. <laughs> and that's uh, it's off. all going to be over for him, mate. They can't fail either. Archeon. Archeon. Lord of the bottle jobs. Lord of the man who is not the Lord of, of the end times. Who, who ended uh, this fabulous? Who ended this fabulous game, game before, before his time? time. Uh, so we're going to go to the south fire. Wow. Now 17 is right, eight charge. I'm right here, mate. Yeah. I'm all Sunfang and Armour of an Arian. Units, I if I can charge, charge that in, the yeah, unit can't then charge something else. No. Yeah. He's just, he's stuck still. Um. Gorbis is going to charge him, sorry. Gorbis is going to charge those Reavers. Oh no. I mean, this is devastating news, but they will stand. Their, their, their loss will be more. It will. Um, I think, I think they will just... The big unit will keep staring down the... Are they not going to do anything? They just keep staring down the unit's out, mate. We'll have a big game of chicken. Absolutely fine. I'm not, not, not going to be chicken next turn, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's it for charges. So... I'll be spurring my uh, my knights next turn. Alright, so that's that. So, Gorbis goes in. Shuts as much as he can, yeah. which is not a great deal. I'll right, that. So I certainly will. Warriors here. This could this this could <laughs> and, the, and you know what, I'm sure they are gonna need it. <laughs> and then the skull pressure over here, they can't help No, they so cannot. Wishing I'd left those white lines in a more juicy position, but uh, maybe, maybe so. No, I think there's some good, there's some good potential here. Still here. here. Charging wise, so how far away is Turkey? Eighteen inches. No, I think he's going to need like a six or a seven at that end. Sixteen inch charge. That's a six. You love to see it. Dragon Prince is there. Moving eight or nine. 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 The Barding, I can't say the name of. Ithelmar. Ithelmar Barding, well done. Um, so that is 16 inches away, so that's going to be a 7 inch charge. It's not looking fanciful here. You're an elf, it does. We'll, 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 we'll take the age old tactic, the tactical retreat backwards. Ah, what is this? It's a little two and a half. Warriors of Chaos. Oh, I've never, I just, I've never been, I, I couldn't be more shocked. They do our move five because they do have the banner option. Okay. I believe this is this is dresser arch in motion at this point. Okay. Trots back with graceful. And Hell Cannon is gonna stay there uh, it's actually no base intended target. Yep. And that'll be that for that. So on to magic. Turn turn. We're getting nine this time. Wow, big. So I'm I'm gonna go for my channel. No. Once again, high elves have to make do with what they're given. And then, so my channel's the five parts of the sorcerer, the familiar, does not, an arcane on self, does not. Does not either. Nine, two, six. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. I'll do my own away now. Definitely think I made a mistake with a position in those white lines. Maybe should have just left them there. But oh, I was surprised you didn't just leave them there. I'm not gonna yeah, I think because you're going to overrun and you're going to be out of my way again. Um, so. Yes, I understand. Right, so. I think. Oh, I just fancy just doing a massive, just 18, 18 plus 5 in the building. <laughs> 3 6 3 <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, right, so then... I don't think we're going to be that crazy. What's the toughness of the line, Jared? Uh, four? 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 You sound, you sound sure. <laughs> yeah. I know. 
I, I, don't, I know what it, I know it's four, I just, I just don't want to believe it. Um, no, it, it is definitely four, and I am correct, it is four. Yeah. I think Arkham's going to go for a mid-level fireball. Yep. Onto the white line, Jared. That's a great choice. So, three dice to cut, or he is three dice to cast it. He is going to be a 13, once again, the luckiest game. I'm going to attempt to dispel it with three myself. Yep. I'm looking for a nine on the dice, so I'm a level four. Oh, cleared that yep. comfortably. So that's five all done. Do need a little bit out of the, the chariot, so I've invested quite a few points in them. Arm save of it is... Four plus. Four plus. So, yeah. We'll go for a flame cage on it. Okay. Yeah, let's go for a little flame cage. So, three dice cards, try and cast it as well. Nine is just half. Eleven. I need a seven. Mm -hmm. Your book of fire does work for the spelling? It does, yeah, it does so I'm, I'm going to be a bit vague on looking for a seven. And I you get, get it. the seven? Nice. Plan the averages. There's Arkham done. done, and I think. Lost the unlikely one's going to be useful, but I'd, I'd rather you attempt to cast one spell and attempt to try and squeak two out. I think by having one dice, you're more likely to just go for one instead of two. I think the. Why didn't he move this chariot? Oh, that. I did not move that chariot. Do you want to move it really quick? Uh, if it is up to you, I'll okay. have your discretion, sure. I do, thank you for that. Do you want to move the chariot? I'm sure he will make a nuisance for himself. Um, and then we're going to need three dice to cast Gillian Rives on this unit here. Yep. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Eight, ten is cast. On a 10, oh, I, I can dispel a 10 on one dice, so... You can, and you watch him do it. Here comes a 6. No, Ooh, but I will off. take a second attempt with the Book of Hope. No. no, adds up to 6. Um, we'll get it in row 2, go down nice back one. down. So, 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 shooting phase. Yep. We're going to go for the, uh, the Frost Heart. Again, see if we can actually do it this time. The last stuff there that does not want to get is. a Hell Cannon. Which is still going to hit. Uh, let's have a look. So, yeah. I think the hole is going to skip between both the bases, uh, but it is going to hit both of them at the at the mid strength. So it's going five, I think, on a hell cannon, isn't it? That's uh, three to wound the sky cutter. Three to the sky cutter. Five on the cross start. I just mercilessly beat this microphone that I'm wearing on my chest. Uh, in excitement there, so um, let's just hope that that was all fine. Um, hope, it, hope it was fine enough. Uh, Hell Cannon maybe is proving why people don't take Hell Cannon sometimes. Yeah, it's not having a great game yeah, today, but I, I think a lot of it's been the dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can certainly say that for sure. Right, right on, on to combat, combat where I hope the Warriors can excel a little bit better. We'll, we'll start with the Gore Beast. Yeah. D6 plus 1 impact, because it is 5. 3 impact, is yeah. it's probably enough. It's tough as three I am, yes. Frank five, two, two, murder. Killing five. Just, just got both off. Would you like to overrun or I, recall? I, I would just recall. Okay. Uh, right, that one over there. Yep. Uh, you go first. I do, and I'm going to use my attacks, hopefully, to the fullest. So three attacks from my Lyrian Reavers. Uh, they all missed. But because you're <laughs> in issue five, and yes. so am I, I can reroll my first hit roll through white strikes first. Two hits. Let's do it. Better, you take two. Well, well top is four, top is four, top is four two wounds left. Five. Oh, that'll yeah. do. Oh. I haven't done the horses yet. If the horses get to attack. Of course they do. And it's a one of arm save. Double, double one will kill the skull crusher. No, double, double six. six. We'll save him. With He's plenty to spare. That's that. I do have three juggernauts going before you or horses. Yes, you do. So I do have a champion. I never really take, usually take a champion, but I do have one now. Do you have a champion in your unit? No. So you don't have to challenge right? So they have two tax base, plus one for Frenzy, and that will be the champion's extra attack. So you'll get three on me. Yep, so I'll get ten attacks. <laughs> Hit me on threes. Hit on threes. And then three misses. And then killing on good. Yeah, strength five. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well they are dead, so it's time for you to roll your overrun, sir. It is. Overrun distance is going to be seven. Might still be on the table. They are still on the table. That's alright. 
Oh. We certainly do. So you don't cause fear or anything like that, do you? No, 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 no fear in the two. Right, so t two of my guys are going to attack the sorcerer, mm -hmm. and then the other, the others are going to attack the unit. So on the sorcerer, imagine he's probably got a one-up armor save now. Uh, I would imagine so. Uh, one hit. One hit. Yeah, they we'll zinch these ones. Yeah, I'll zinch. So I can reroll the the foul to hit the initiative five. So two hits, uh, and then toughness four. Four. So five's the win. One wound. one wound on him, I'll take that. You might so roll he has Chaos Armor, armor. he has the Enchanted Shield for the two up, and then Glitter Rose puts him down to the one up. Nice. He's fine. Cool, and then I'll go on to the, the regiment with the rest. I'll get roll that one. So yeah, three hits. And fives again. Yep. Just the one wound one on the wound. regiment. So again, throw a palm save for the Chaos Armor and Shield, and then plus two for one up. Yeah, fine. Absolutely fine too. Actually it works out for the um, I should roll my dice now. We have the champ. One. So, champion's attacks. One, two, three regular guys next to him. And then we have the Chaos Sorcerer as well, who is the exact same chat line. And there's five guys behind him. So, three to we are working skill five. Mm -hmm. What was it hits? I just knocked over there. So, that's all of those hits. Threes to wound, you're only still on So we have six armor saves. Oh, seven, seven armor, armor saves, sorry. Minus one. So seven, six pluses. No six, <laughs> no six pluses. So not great. I'm not going to lie. Would you like to reform or overall? I think. I run I'll just go towards the chariot. Um No, we're just gonna read. Okay. That'll be it for Chaos turn three. Better, I've actually but I've actually killed some stuff this turn. Yeah, yeah, so killed all the readers. Progressing is definitely improving for you. So. There's no no chaff left, which is quite nice. Uh, unless you count the uh, the sky cutter of chaff. <laughs> Never have I been. Never have I been so affronted. Uh, right, so on to high elves for turn three. Yeah, that's okay, so great. on to high elves turn three. And now you will feel the rock. Malan here charging down. No, not quite. He's a bit far away. Oh, but, um, a, bit, a bit too far away for Malan. A bit too far away for him. But you will feel the rock for high elves now. Mm. Sir. He will rue this day. Start ruining. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Start ruining now. Start yeah. ruining. So, so we're, we're going to go. It's of our own, actually. Uh, we're going to start with the Frost Heart Phoenix into the Gore Beast Chariot. So, do you cause any denomination of fear or terror? He does cause fear. Okay, so he doesn't have to take the terror. Which, which is the bane of my Warhammer existence sometimes. Um, do I want to? What do I want to do? What's the, what's the distance between the Frost Start and the Warriors? Uh, it is going to be 18, because it was 16 and you moved yeah. back. Oh, two and a half you moved back, didn't you? Yeah. It's 18 and a half, so I'd need to roll a nine. It's pretty high, but I'm it Swift Strike. You have to, you have to try well. Um, Gore Beast is... I think Gore Beast is going to take the charge. Okay. But he's not going to charge alone. The White Lion Carrier ah. is going to join him in this I glorious see. pursuit. Can I now decide to flee? You can decide to flee <laughs> on the second bounce, if you want. Um, The bike's gonna be frontal. Yes. Nothing would be brave than doing this because I need you to fail one of these ones. <laughs> There's yeah, no idea I tempted I am to do some mad stuff right now. That's an eight. And this one's a nine. So the Sky Carter and Tyrion's unit are also going to charge, I think. Both into the Warriors' Chaos. Bolt. Yep. Looking for eights and nines, would you like to stand off, Lee? Hey, okay. We're, 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 we're big, brave boys. Yep, well, please one of us is. 
And <laughs> the white lines also want to take a part of this action. I don't think they can see it, <laughs> is the truth. I I'm not sure, there's a, there might be a way if I wield them they could do something exciting. Yeah. But they're massive, Jard, I mean, can't make that one. I mean, this one would be the interesting one because I need a 10, but I'd have to try and work out if there's a way to wheel. And, and I don't think we, I don't think any of us want to watch me try and calculate a really, really silly strong charge if it would work. Is the flame fire going to charge the Hellcat? He might, he might also do other notable things, but not that. Uh, he was thinking of charging the Hell Cannon, he's not going to lie to you. He was. But, um... It's a big off. Yeah, it's just more to stop you shooting yeah, me, yeah. isn't it? Let's be honest. So yeah, I think he is going to charge the Hell Cannon, yep. which he, he can't foul. Nope. Uh, the Hell Cannon's unbreakable, so he has to take the charge. Yep, I like all of those things um, today. So Do the, uh, do the old Seagull, they want to charge the Warriors. I, w I was tempted to put the flame in the... <laughs> if that was a Frosty, that would have gone in the side yes, and they would have gone yeah. in the front. But, um, being a flame bird, it's a little less uh, reliable, shall we say? Yeah, I think we've got other other plans afoot. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's do some of these charges and some of these moves. Now, this one we don't need to roll. Flame just goes in. Only nine away, uh, but I'm going to just tap on the the very front edge of him there, like that. Try and get something slightly more favourable going forward. So, let us begin. What is the speed? Of this eight. I need five with this one. Drill ones, please. So five on the goal beast. While Iron Chariot makes it. Oh, I've used a good roll there, though. <laughs> so he's in. So what going on to the Gore Beast with the Frost Heart. What's the Frost Heart need? He, he doesn't need much. I think he needs an 8 as well. Let me check. He needs an 8, I think. Let me check. He's a 6. Yep. So he's in, and I'm pleased to have used a slightly less favourable set of dice rolls there. Because uh, these ones are more important. These these need an 8, and these need a 9. So let's see if we get the 8 with the Sky Cutter. We're just trying to imp impact hits and giving away combat resolution. Here we go. 8. This is the one that really matters now, isn't it? That's now Tyrion. Big 9. Here we go. Yeah! Eight. Eight. That was... So I'm, just, so I'm going to move all my successful charges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we love a bit of that. Yep. This is where the Gorby just survived, mate. A lot of chariot sized bases in my rule. <laughs> that was their power charge. Yes. So. Now, Remaining moves. Remaining moves it is. I'm scared. <laughs> I really want the Gorbis. I'm going to so attempt to swift reform these guys. Yep. They fail. Oh, oh no, they should turn from Tyrion. Uh, is he 18 inches? Yeah. Yeah. Easy yeah. ever. Yeah. Wipe sweat, sweat off, bro. Yep. I see the, the, the tactical <laughs> retreat. Yep. You uh, you called it first, though. So. Oh, my age is actually a lot less useful now. With all this stuff's in combat. Oh, no. She's got a lot less... Uh... I didn't pick any of the buffs with her, which was possibly a bit of an error. So, she is going to... White Lion's going to swift reform as well. Yep. Turn around space skull crushes? Yep. Yeah. So... Bit of magic, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh! Huge when I can't really do a lot with it. But we are up to plus one wall save on the Phoenix again. I bet you our channel now as well. Nope. So, so five, five channels from Chaos Sorcerer. He does. An Arcane himself. Oh, oh other way, way around. Tornager. Oh, Tornager. Sorry? What can you go? Uh, not not a great deal. I can fiery conflag the the juggers. I can soul quench the juggers. 
and I can drain some magic, basically, or arcane on full struggles. Which, uh, they do have magic, they don't, don't have magic, magic. Don't do they? Uh, the insults weapons don't, know. No. But it does do a wound on their armor save and no armor save. So, you know, that's the way of getting a wound off one. So, you haven't got any magic spells on yourself, have you? No. So I think we're going to go three dice, arcane on full, on a random... Uh, yeah, it's too, it's too far away, that, uh, that one. The one on the, uh... Cameraman just pointed to Glittering Rove, and I'm like, I'm just not treating that as a as a real option because it's only 18 in range. So, uh, so we're gonna go Varkin and Forge mm -hmm. on the uh, on the Skull Crushers. I, I'll yeah. probably just keep that 17. That's a pretty good score. I'm unlikely to do better than that. Loads. Loads. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term. I had 11, so I've got no. Uh, I've got eight. Yeah, so the only spells I can cast on realistically the ones that are strength four. Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled 17. Going yeah, all out. Going all out. Is that everything else? I got two apart from seven. I'm more well, hopefully, hopefully going to survive. survive. You're going to roll one, Tom. Yeah, yeah, probably. I'll, I'll keep one. Just, 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 just to torment. Just to... Okay. No, I'm going to roll all seven. Try and stop it. So yeah. 17. I need a 15 on the dice. 11. Yeah, you've done it. 14. 15. Lovely. Right, well, I suppose the next trick will be to throw four on a... Uh, on a big soul quench, big soul quench. onto the uh, mm -hmm. skull crushers. Oh. <laughs> yes, it will, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll put a counter back on myself. Yep. Forty-six hits. Eleven. Not very good. Not not worth this casting for. Fours to wound. Yep. Oh, good amount of wounds. Seven. Seven wounds. So I, sh I should steal a wound, maybe two on a bad day. It's been a bad, it's been a bad day. Yeah, it's improving for you. It is. So, so one up save goes down to a two up save because of strength four. four. Do a wound. Stay wound. And, and the miss, the miss oh. cast. This could be big. Nah. Nine, uh, exactly the same. Oh, it's, it's not very much. Eight or nine, nine is, uh, yeah, everyone that can generate. So she takes a strength six hit. She's wounded. Banner of the World Dragon for a two plus. Yes. She loves it this time. And then d6 dice. Yep. All six of my remaining four. So I'm no mathematician, but I think that's over. Um, Shooting phase. Indeed. So, isn't a huge amount that's really worthwhile shooting here. But I think we're going to put 15 shots from the tower into those guys, which will be a long range and with some cover. So we'll be looking at uh, a score of uh, fours for long range and then sixes with the hard cover of my own unit. But we've only got a nickel wound and there's a dead, dead knight. Three hits, I'll take that. Five to wound. One wound. wound. Two up arm save. Nice, mate. He's fine. And then over here, shoot guard into the chariot. Yep. So 18 shots this time. Mm -hmm. uh, these would hit on fours because they move. Fires because of the range. Four hits. Not, not quite. Uh, and then six is because it's toughness five and I'm strength three. And I think... She was a bit... Yeah, that's yeah, I mean, it's not it's not super amazing. Uh, so what's really going to matter now is the order I fight these uh, yes. these combats in. So obviously I'm going to start with the... Uh, yep. With the one here. Does, does the, the lion track cause fear? It does. Ah, okay. Over Over like, cheeky little fear test. It's got four lions on the front of it, mate. Yeah, mate terrifying. I've got, I've got a big purple, purple gorilla. Uh, he's about to get impacted. He is. So, Sire? Nah. Okay. Five. Two. So, you're strength five, but you're tough and six, six, aren't you? So, five, five, five to win. One wound. So, so well, our three up save goes, goes down, down to a five, five up save. save. No. So down to four That's wounds. a start. Yeah, they're down to four wounds. Okay, so then we get to do our attack. So, I'll start with my two lion charities. Yep. Uh, we are Mark and Nug. Okay, so these are weapon skill. So am I. These will be fours normally, but fives because of the marker nerve. So the minus one. Fives. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Strength Four, six. Fours to win. Fours to win. That's what you get. Yeah. One round. So. Cheeky six up. Minus three for your strength six, so six up arm save. So. Oh! <laughs> Livy. <laughs> Uh, then we've got the lions themselves. Yep. They'll also be on fives to hit. They get mm -hmm. two each, so strength five. Well, right. well I'm marking those off, it does not matter these days. And fives to win? Fives to win, yeah. 
Oh, two, two, five ups. <sighs> right, right, so, so two, two five ups. Okay. Pouncing lion. Another one. Big gorilla. Uh, and then because you're fighting a frost type phoenix, you are an, uh, always strikes last. I am, yes. Because that's cool. Now, last turn I would have had plus one attacks. It's a shame I haven't got uh, against the Mark and Urgle, but uh, I'll have to just stick with my plus one also. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, such, a, such a shame. So four attacks. Uh, weapon skill is six. So threes become fours because of the Mark and Urgle. One hit. Ooh, okay. Not great. And then strength six, fours to win. Ooh, okay. Uh, this might, uh, might be about to pan out very badly. So, we are going to attack the Lion Terrans. Yes, we are. Um, we're not, we're not going to try and uh, scratch the turkey. Yep. So, I have two attacks per charity. Yep. Because my charity is better than your charity is. That's fine. Whatever, whatever helps you sleep at night. It does. Um, it does make you sleep. That does help you sleep at night. So, they do have two attacks each, they also have five. So, they hit you on the horse. Doesn't matter. One hit. Yeah, one hit. Uh, strength five, so you do have a halberd with toughness four. So, I know, minus one. Minus one strength, strength, my first start. So, so strength four, so four to wound it. Big purple gorilla up top. Yep. He has three attacks. He's going to score three because we're going to attack the line chariot, so still four to it. Yep. Better. And he held minus one strength as well, so it's going to be four to wound. Strength four again. Because he's strength five base. Oh, wound. So that's minus one. So I've got one five plus armor save now against that. Which I foul. So I've got three remaining. Um. And then we can work the score out. Yes. So I charged you and did two, two wounds. I you did a wound, go. nice and easy. You lose by two. So you'll What's be it? leadership, leadership eight. Ten. 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 Go down to leadership eight. I kind of want to stick around here. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty big if he doesn't. Um... Leash test, ladies and gentlemen. Bane of my existence in this game. Well, I'll be a bit more. I was to do a little bit more damage, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I might have been oh, a bit Pass leash test. Ah! Yes, he does. That's pretty big. Sticks around. Pretty big yes. moment. So now, now, now the sky cutter is by himself. I mean, he was dead anyway. But, um, <laughs> the uh, the flame spire. Yes. Now they actually only have three attacks. Um, Do they only have three? Yeah, but they are initiative four. That can skill five. So these will be I'm initiative one and two respectively. So these will be threes to hit you. Mm-hmm. What skill? Five. Ah, oh, five. Okay. With two hits. Yep. And toughness six. Strength five. So five. five. One wound. One so, so he has a four arm save naturally, which will then go down to a six, six up. up. Nope. And he has a five up demonic ward save. No. Takes a wound. Okay. And four. Not bad. Right, right my takes back. Cast Wolf, wolf so we'll go first, first because they're an issue two. <laughs> uh, so they are Trouble Tut Chops. Here it comes. Trouble Shovel Tut Chops, yes. Uh, I believe they're still three. They may be one skill four before. That's one They're definitely used. not weapon skill five, though. No, they're not skill five. So, I'm just checking anyway. I should be uh, four there, a dwarf, I'd feel. They also go four. Yeah. So, hit on fours. Yep. The cast wall. One it. Toughness five for that. Toughness five. So, five, five, five six is the wound, strength three. three. No. So, no wounds for the, the uh, dwarves, and then the actual cannon itself. Five attacks. Hit on fours. Three hits. Not bad. He's strength five, so he's going to be four. Fours to wound. One move. So I've got a four plus ward save, thanks to my attuned magic. Yes. Nine thousand. Still, Still nothing, nothing for the attuned magic. Yeah. So he is down to four, I think. Uh, I'm yes. pretty sure they both have five. Uh, I charged you in the flank and uh, have a wound. Mm -hmm. I did a wound back. back. You lose, but you are what? unbreakable. We are unbreakable as standard. So, and then we are just going to turn to face it. I was correct about his wounds as well. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be, be that, that combat. Sky Cutter then. Yes. So we go impact hits with the Sky Cutter. <laughs> Singular <laughs> impact hit there. <laughs> is it side? <laughs> oh, is it, is it side? It's a boat. <laughs> Put side on the boat. Cut <laughs> water. Oh dear. Um, strength five. So three. Oh, strength five. So three sword then. It's a wound. It's a wound. Strength 5 minus 2. My shield goes away because I tuck it in my back when I get my helmet out. So it's going to be a 6 up arm save for a warrior cast. Okay. So there's one warrior down. There you go. That's one more warrior cast. And I think many people thought he was going to kill in this game. Yep. Um, that's two crew then. Mm -hmm. Always strike first. Weapon skill 4. Mark and Nervous going to be minus 1 to bit. Doesn't matter anyway. Whatever. Has no power Strength 4 on the charge with my spear. 
Sally Forst? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I've been nice. shaking their heads. This is all legit stuff. Uh, the Rock, I think he's slower than you. The Swift Feather Rock? I think he's in Initiative 4, so I'm just going to double check him. Uh, he is Initiative, uh, he's Initiative 4. So the, the, the oh. skill 5, though. <laughs> Why? Oh, Why God. not? Alright, so, so the, the characters, they're, they're, they're not going to deign this, uh, this pitiful thing. thing. Yeah, the, uh, the expectants are being killed by them, so they just let the boys handle this Okay. So, so we yeah, have, do have a champion, champion which has three attacks, attacks. and then we have... Uh, yeah, you'll have four, four wide on me. Yeah, yeah four wide. So that's a champion. I needed the frost heart, I needed to yeah. bounce you and then get the frosty in there as well to, to do max damage. Two, three, so that's the two, three guys around him, and then four behind them. Of course, you gotta hit me, you gotta wound me. I do love some. Uh, very confident. Very confident. I five for the bird. So I hit on the bird. You hit on the high person skill. Five there, so four. <laughs> so four sweep. Soldier. Very confident. How many wounds you got? He's got four. Four wounds. Toughness four? He might that be. Not, that was not a hit. Knock that one over. Toughness four? Yeah. Strength five, five to the Howard, so three still wounded. <laughs> Very confident. <laughs> Told you, two wounds. Two wounds minus two. So these be two six up saves. Yep. Makes one. <laughs> one more than I was expecting to make today. So uh, he's down to three as well. Yes. Uh, so let's uh, let's work this out. I charged you. Did a wound. Did a wound. All right. Ten I did. I did a wound. I have two banners. And then I have one, two, three ranks. I lose by, by four. Yep, yep. leadership six. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's it's possible. I did it earlier on. It's not possible without that BSB though. Mm. So leadership six. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so Praise be to when That only happened. He only passed because, because of, the of the inspiring leadership of the biggest boy in Warhammer. Maybe Arkan should have stepped up to play for that one. Maybe he should have. Maybe he should have. Maybe he killed a chariot. Maybe. Maybe I would have some like, legit points. He was so frightened that he was going to get little spears poked in his bare chest. That, um, he didn't want that bare manly chest Arkan obviously had on the Didn't fancy it. Um, so that'll be that's it for your turn though, isn't it? It is. Uh, that will be the high of turn three. Three? I believe it's turn three. Yes, yeah, turn three. That'll be the high of turn. <laughs> Right guys, so start of Chaos turn 4, as you can see the stress of the beatdown was so great that I um, I got my, my hit, my beard and my hair, they fed out over the... That's what you get! It is what I get! <laughs> Being all serious since we had to pause the game midway through because I had a barber's appointment! So, <laughs> they're not easy to get at the moment, are they? not <laughs> duty calls at that point, but, um, but no, we're going to Chaos turn 4 um, and we've got some... Oh, it's okay, I've made a uh, cloak out of his beard, so I'm gonna wear for the next game. <laughs> just say so you hate me and fear me. <laughs> oh, <there's> fear, eh? <laughs> but no, so we're going to Chaos Turn 4, we're going to start to carry some charges. So, charge wise, makes you feel good, The only charges I can see that are possibly going to be made is the chariots and the Warriors Chaos charging into the Seagull. What, what are these? What are these guards of the sea want to do? So the chariot is going to go first, yeah? Chariot will go first, yes. Well, I'm going to start shooting the chariot, obviously. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Uh, and that's a big charge. 16 and a half. Yeah, uh, quite it's, a eight, eight, it's a 9 inch charge. 9 inch, yeah, I'll take that. These guys, they're uh, they're for over 14 as well. So they need 11, you so I need some big boy charges. So I'll be honest with you, mate. I think I'm just going to... I can't stand and shoot twice. If I could, I wouldn't listen, I would. But I'll just stand and shoot the chariot because he went first. So let's do that. Two, four, six. And then, so you're saying shooting at the chariot, yes? Yeah, got, got, well, because you don't charge, you declare that one, didn't yeah. you? And then I declare my reaction, so. Uh, gotta love the superior. Superior, superior shooting skills of three needs, ranks. Who needs pansy bow shooting? So, uh, three's normally, four's for long range, and then five's because of standard shooting. That's just to give you a chance. It's <laughs> a lot of hits there, mate. So far, it's not, not looking good. <laughs> That's seven. That's what? Really, that's really good. That was five. <laughs> right, so. Uh, toughness five. Toughness five. So sixes. Sixes to it. Let the good luck continue. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill him on the hand and shoot, right? Oh, this is gonna be our two. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna roll two, two and a one. I can feel it. I can feel it inside. I see a uh, triple crown in my. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Let's go. Ah! 
Oh. <laughs> Almost through the ground. Yeah, three fives. That's good. As long as he fails the charge, I yep. guess. So, we're going to go into the charges now then. Yep. Uh, we said it was a nine inch charge for Chariot. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Let's go, baby! No. You love Whoa. to see it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Eight inches. Prime on. counter charge range. <laughs> we're going to go four inches forward. Just you, just you wait though. The Warriors. <laughs> the Warriors. <laughs> Warriors can roll an 11. Ah! <laughs> I'll be super upset, mate. So, Warriors charge distance? Uh, they need 11. They need 11. 15. They got a well, 14 and a half. So, yeah. Big 11s. Uh... Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> totally vindicated in not fleeing. Because <laughs> today's combat, they are not going to win, sir. You'd like to think so, but after seeing the disappointment of the uh, Skycutter versus the Warriors over there. Well, what can I say? You try and fight a boat. <laughs> get, get down Arbor, right? Get down Arbor. Get yourself down there, mate. Start really lipping off against a big one. You can go down the Thames, HMS Belfast. Get down there, lip <laughs> off at that. <laughs> See what happens, mate. Punching the boat. See what you get, mate. He's a war veteran. See what you get. Start, start punching boat, get escorted off by police and thrown <laughs> down. <laughs> Your other boats are available. So. <laughs> Not for public use. <laughs> right, uh, I think that's all going to be all for the charges because there we go. Let's see. Uh, there's no compulsory moves because the cannons in combat. Yep. So then we go on to regular movements. Um, it's been it's been a wild ride for the skull crushers. I feel. <laughs> but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna have to meet their maker at some point. Uh, well, we can only hope. <laughs> so what they're gonna do? They're gonna they're gonna swift reform. Okay. Make that charge easy for me. You know, I will. Thank just you. for you, because I'm a good man. Thanks, yeah. Mate, you're a good guy. I'm a good guy because I'm gonna cut Tyrion's head off in a second. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make that either. Uh, they might do because of our They might be an 18. <clears throat> they are not. I want you to know, mate, that um, Tyrion's actually been crowned lethal tizzle for this game, so lethal he's uh, so that he's ready to deliver what he needs. Other rap artists are available. Uh, not an awful one, there, mate. Not lethal tizzle's one, no. got a monopoly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we're just going to turn and face them. I love the idea that someone somewhere is just going to watch me laughing on a video. <laughs> it's just like, this guy's a loser. Yes, someone, yes, someone's going to be watching a super cut of you laughing. As <laughs> 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 the video editor, I feel that you can probably go. I, I can see I can do that. Uh, right, well, well that's that. Magic? Magic indeed. So. Oh, Ooh, uh, eight to, to six. So a bit of a channel for me. Yes. Oh. And channel for me. So the sorcerer with the cast familiar with five plus. Nope. Oh, he rerolls re one because it's Lee Lawrence Inc. Marcus Inch. No. Yeah. And Arkham himself. Nah, need to reroll one. Still don't get the air channel. Okay. <laughs> He's just a little boy, mate. He is. He's just a small boy. <laughs> and this is a man's world. <laughs> you're in the you're in the realm of lethal tizzle now. Oh. <laughs> Right, magic wise, so I've eight dice. Not really much I can cast. At this eight point. to seven, I'm quite happy with that. Hmm. I think. Right, four dice, transportation of lead onto. Probably want to put on that squire card, it looks like the Morris Cast need all the other I can get. Yeah, well, it looks it does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's one, one impact that you did, mate, one. Killed the man as well. <laughs> Give you the best chance you could give yourself. Killed the man. Uh, all right, so transportation of lead. What is the range on it? Uh, Twenty-four. Oh, you can get yeah, it's over everything. there. Yeah. Let's do it. My... Can't get a white lines. Oh no. Although to be honest, that's not not the most guaranteed charge ever now. No, it's not. Which is actually quite a good thing for me. I mean, got transportation of lead. I think we're going to put it on the dragony princes. Yeah, I think that's what we call. Oof. 10, 18, 20. Five five that, I five five. It's not really what I wanted to roll, but. Uh, not great, but book a hoe after the rescue. Roll that one again. Roll that one again. Not ah. today. That's a great roll. Uh, so 12, 19, 23. 23. So Where that's you 12. Get? I got 20. Fucking and then that's it. Is that range? I don't think it is. Nope. Ah, we'll put the flame cage on no the No flame cage for you. No flame cage. Well, that takes that out of it. Uh, quite a lot, Andrew. 
Woo! Hope you got that. <laughs> I'm assuming the flame cage damage in the map in the next turn just still does count as magical damage. Yeah, you are correct. Okay. <laughs> you are correct in your assumption. Uh, we're gonna put. I'm just a friendly guy. Just trying to give you options. You are. You put on them as well. They're another option. Uh, other options are available. Fireborn, two up. No, two <laughs> also. Probably not. Not the best idea though. Uh, we're gonna get in robes on the cast Jarrett. Okay. Uh, four dice. This card is up. New. So uh, it's 8, 10, 12, he's cast. Oh, I can, I can stop that, mate. You <laughs> can. <laughs> that is infinitely nice, stuff of one. GE8. GE8. Oh! Doesn't need the book. Didn't even need the book, mate. Put it away. Well. <laughs> Stuck the book in your backpack. He's like, oh, shit, waste of shit. She's like, I'll take 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take 10 minutes. 10 minute cool down, yeah? Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, that's sorted. Um, <laughs> Alright, so that's magic phase. The combat phase is no point doing it. No, not not shooting phase. No, shoot phase is no point doing There's it. No point doing a combat phase either. Just um, take your fingers off. I've got... Let's go into combat, then, shall we? <laughs> Sky can't kill Dark kid. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Where right, do you want to start? So we'll start over here. We'll start with the Hellcannon. Okay. Uh, I get three with the Flame Spark. It's not the most attacked. And I'm just going to double check myself because it's been a little while since we uh, played the last turn. I'm still on plus one. You are still on plus one. So, uh, three attacks from me. Yep. Threes. Ooh, skill five? Or four? Big five. Big five. Yeah, the, the ice one six. No. Um, <laughs> just in case it wasn't enough. Strength uh, five, strength plus five. six, so six five. Less good. Oh, just the one. We'll strength take five, so four five, so I get to six up. Yep. Oh! <laughs> right, the doors with touch shovels. <laughs> Let's go. Four straight, four straight the bird. Get one. Uh, toughness five? Yeah. Strength three? Sixes? Six. No. And then the cannon itself. Second part, slightly more concerning for him. Second part, so the cannon itself, five attacks, hitting on fours. <laughs> <laughs> Angry cannon. Oh, I am deeply concerned now. And then it's going to be fourth wound. Yeah, I'm toughing five then. Only one. Oh, treating me. Four plus one save, here it comes. Hold tight. Nah. He's down to three. Just so, I'm, just so I'm aware as well, I would have probably turned to face you as well last turn in the end of last round of combat. Uh, yeah, would you like to do that now? I will do that now. Uh, just it's so... probably not going to make a lot of difference. It will, so... means I win combat. Uh, you're going to win combat anyway. I would have won if I didn't was... Oh, yeah, I see. So, oh, yeah, now I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah so you cheated, that's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> bit of casual cheating there, just for the viewers at home. Bit of cheating, because he knows he's uh, in trouble. I mean, literally, mate, he's nicely painted. That is his use in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, Right, so you do I lose by one. one, yeah. Nine or eight? Eight. Eight. But they seven. Seven. Let's go. I've passed some good leadership tests in this game. I have not. You have not, I so. Have not. My oh! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, saw the two and was like, this is, I'm on. I'm in. <clears throat> I'm going to flake. I thought you might. I, I'm going to chase. It's, it's duck hunting season. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, roll. Well, you know, Ooh, I'll catch that. Nine. That's a big nine. That's pretty good. I'm gonna roll the eleven. What well, your ch chariot couldn't roll. I'm gonna roll, <laughs> I'm gonna roll the charge now. No, no, seven. This comes barreling down the hill. That's all right. It's not dead, mate. I mean, that's literally is, is where we're at. I've got a nice little fiery counter over there that I'm going to put on when you kill it. And it's going to go and no, come back more, to life. What's going to do is get Sarah off the board and don't get your fiery counter. Where do you want it? Uh, Disrespect. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, we'll go with. I don't think it's going to be over. Yeah, if I fleet, you can chase one. Okay. We'll do the Sky Cutter then. We'll do the Sky Cutter first. Uh, the BSB will <laughs> make. <laughs> The beast we will make way this time. That's upsetting. Um, I, he's in the middle. Yeah. See, pain us him in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Language. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> posterior. Posterior. <laughs> posterior. So yeah, you go first. You always drive first. So attack. Mm -hmm. I need five to hit you because you're like a noble, aren't you? Yes. I'm just gonna beat on the dudes. Oh. Oh. Bit of always strikes first. Yes. Ooh. Two hits. Strength three, tough and four. Yeah, these are this fine, mate. This is two wounds, two power arms, those. Two dead wounds, guys. Two dead, two dead guys. No. Or, no wounds. Or no wounds. So, BSB. Um, he has four attacks, but still seven. So, I'm going to keep putting unhappy faces <laughs> until you uh, fluff all your dice. So, we're going to hit him on threes. There you go. 
Uh, I guess that's still enough to win the combat. <laughs> Strength, I mean, you're still winning already. <laughs> Strength 5 base, so 4 to wound. 3 to wound, I'm only uh, toughness. Uh, I thought you said 5. No, it's Strength 5. Okay, no wounds there anyway. Which is what I'm saying. So, you would be on that corner there, or there. Yep. Again, 1, 2, 3 dudes maximise that. Yep. Yep. So, 1, 2, 3, champ. And then 4 dudes behind them. So, we are hitting on. Uh, 4. No, we're still 5. We're still 5 bird, From the bird! <laughs> it's a bird. Yeah. It's a bird. <laughs> He's as good a fire as you. He's as good a fire as a phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, hitting on 4. Ooh. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I, think, I think it might be a bit of trouble this time. It'll probably definitely be fine. I don't want to kill her, I want it to run. I don't. I want you to definitely. I don't even want to take his arm saves. <laughs> two to take, two not to take arm saves, yeah? And three stones. No, come on, I want ones and twos here. Oh! Three, mate, I'm not going to pass any, so that's not a problem. Well, pass that one, one, one crown, the crown. Have you done your uh, supports? Is that right? I didn't. Oh, uh, upsetting. <laughs> so, no crowns. One crown. Or, or triple crown for hilarity. I don't want I don't want any middle ground. Crowns here, crowns. Crowns or none. Crowns. All crowns, no crowns. Yeah! It's literally the worst possible result. <laughs> it's not, because he's going to pass the leadership check and you're going to be so, so salty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Is that one move left or two moves? Uh, sorry, one move left. Apologies. It's time to do it. Got one left. So, I win the combat. Swift feather up, mate. Ah, yes. Uh, Five. One hit. One hit. Strength four. Five. Four. 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 Yeah, add that. Add that. Straight off the beak. <laughs> Straight off the beak. <laughs> so, strength four. So my in form. my head, he puts the hook through like, the, like, the bonds if I can count the front line. <laughs> Very oh, impressively. <laughs> right, so five arms so my front goes down to five because of strength four. Yes! Oh, one goes down. <laughs> Straight fruit bonds. Straight fruit bonds. So... Combat result. Oh, I hate to think. You've I got did. three ranks, two flags, is that? Three ranks, two flags. Two wounds? Uh, two wounds, yes. I you got did. a wound. A wound. So I only lose combat by six. six. I'm issue four. That's passable. If you do. If you do. <laughs> I think, I think we're going to build the suspense, actually. I think we're going to go one dice. Oh, don't do this to me. Ah! Oh, failed it on one. <laughs> oh, I should have rolled that one first. Um, He's fib. Uh, I will chase him. I thought he might. He's going seven. I'm going eight. So he's dead. He's dead. It actually does me a favour, because at least I can counter charge with the uh, Dragon Prince, who's providing that I win the next stages of what's happening here. Let's remove that. Oh, you would maximise across here, wouldn't you? So, yes. As you sort of wheel up, so. Like that. There you go. Beautiful. Lovely. And is that uh, that chaos uh, character? They will be in the centre. In the centre now, only unless he's going to make way back to there. So. He knows what he's going to get. Stay away from that. Though. Victorious dragon princes, mate. Victorious, mate. Oh, Vic oh is it Victor no, victorious. Victorious, as as lethal tizzle leads him in. So this combo here, then. Yep. Uh, fear checks all round for you guys because I'm much scarier than you. I'm a forty foot blue parakeet made of ice. You like to think you are. <laughs> you like to think you are. So leash to the warriors, chaos. Uh, leash at ten because the, the big man himself, Archie. This is an eleven, mate. It's not. <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> you were worried for a minute. I told you, Max. You fear the dice. That's the difference. I fear the leash. I don't fear the dice. Uh, then the Gore Beast Jarrett causes fear. And he's like, he's like, he's like. So! I'm oh. sorry, you've got voice strikes last, haven't you? I do have voice strikes last now. It's not fair at all. Uh, so, Lion Chariot is. Start with them. These need five to hit the Gore Beast. They do. Uh, which is an issue for them. Uh, I'll do the War Lions next. Mm -hmm. They also need five. Which is one. an issue for them too. Uh, fives to wound. Five's no. no wounds. No wounds. Toughness of the Gorby's going kind to of play there. Yeah, big time. Uh, you got that Nurgle combo as well. But the Frost Art is just going to attack the Warriors. Way out the Warriors. Yeah, force it. Force it. Okay. Two to win them. Two to kill, innit? Yeah, it's two to kill. Two to kill. All the ones. There's one Two more. dead. My attack's back. It is, certainly. 
So, Gore Beast is just going to attack the whale on the lion chariot. Yep. So, the dude up top, hitting on pause. Pause. Want it? Toughness five or toughness four? Toughness four, but you're minus one strength. I am minus one strength, so I'm forced to win there. No wounds there. I'll do the Gore Beast now, just get over and done with. Yeah. These also hitting on fours. And then, force the wound. No wounds there. Oh, it's going well for me so far. Oh, yeah. Static Rezzy is my concern now. But that lion chariot is stubborn. <laughs> I see the, the frosty to break, so I can chase two down the warrior. Cast. Uh, it'll be four, yeah. Two, two up front, two supports. Yep. So six six. You need them both to break, didn't you? Because um, the warriors have already overrun this turn. They have, yeah. So you've got to get... The, the... I can't overrun twice then, no? I don't think so, no. No, it's got to be... Cameraman's shaking his head. Cameraman's not shaking his head. Yeah. Okay. Love so, to see hitting on fours, because you have to go six for whatever reason. You try and hit a 40 foot tall ice parakeet. It's there, I can... It oh, does God. this! Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's it. Right. That's what happens. And then all so, of a sudden you're all like, oh, I can't reach. No, mate. Um, Here's six sixes for you. Oh, there's two. There's two. I need that again. For the wounds. So strength five, so then strength four. So six. six is the wound. Come on, baby. Oh! There's one. So he's got a six up armor save to start yes. with, because uh, he's uh, five up normally and minus one for your strength four. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the armor save! <laughs> right, here's what I want you to roll the one. Thumber. Thunder, thunder, thunderstorm. One. Other 80s cartoons are available. Um, one. Four. Okay. Might be enough. Two to kill. Four dead. Better. Alright. So, you charge me. Mm -hmm. And you have two, two bangers. And two bangers. Yep. And I did, did six wounds. Six wounds. You lose by one. I do. Oh, here comes that core beast on the job. Leash of sense, we go down to leash of nine. Run down by the line chariot. No. <laughs> Insane. Take care, mate. And I'll give them They run away. They're going to run. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> They're dead fast. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to leave this dead fast. Weirdly. You needed that, though, didn't you? <laughs> that puts you in prime charge well, range. I mean, it's, prime, it's prime combat territory. Oh, I hope you're ready. I mean, I am. But what comes next? Because I can about to chop your head off. Because I think that is the end of your turn. Then. It is the end of my turn four. So, Hyle's turn four. four. Yeah. So, time for Hyle of turn four. It is. And what everyone is about to witness the charge? is the victory for the Hyle's in the big boy, in the inaugural big boy beatdown when Tyrion. Just does what he needs to do. Let's check the other charges first. Because <laughs> they're exciting too. Uh, so uh, that's over nine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need a uh, five. five there. Yep. So I'll oh. charge. Oh, you fell. <laughs> Petty. Um, the, the I'm thinking about it. 13. I need an eight. Need an eight. Do you know what? I'm going to go for it. I've got a state of combat res. I'll, be, I'll hope you know that. And I wanna I wanna slip past those warriors of chaos. Uh, and just... then obviously That's that can't be foul there, can it? No, that can't no. They're, they're nine, nine and a half away, so uh but you know we'll put the dice there to make us feel good. Well just to make me feel better So he uh, is he standing off flip? He's gonna run, we both know he's gonna flee. Just just say it. I'm confident you're gonna throw this charge, but oh, I really? they're gonna stand, he's gonna stand. I'm gonna start with this one then. Big eight! Oh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Confidence is key! Yeah, it is right. I told you, you got to start fearing the dice. Um, this one's a five. I've got confidence you're going to fail this one as well. Yeah, you're right to be confident I'm going to fail that one. The wheels are coming right off. Um, I'm, I'm confident you're not going to fail this I one. I can't fail this one, but I'll roll it just for good practice. <laughs> 21. 21. Bash. Fish bash bosh. Life boy. Other sanitizers are available. So, rally fleeing troops. Rally fleeing troops indeed. He needs an eight. He does. Right. It's not nine, is it? I've got a feeling your premonition about his uh, Phoenix counter not being used is uh, going to come true. Oh, right. Eight. I think that might be enough. No, not quite. So he's all right still. Magic, I guess. Yep. Not one. Mine's one more save. 
would be a big turn. I'd actually, you know, if I'm honest, I'd like pass on attack here, which is a four, a four and a, and a like two, a four and a four. That'd be lovely. A two and a two. It's a two and a two. I think that's a uh, minus one attack. Um, minus one attack. It's minus one strength actually. <laughs> Ooh, I got minus saving against that. You do. It also doesn't win on a two anymore. It doesn't. That's that's actually not all that upsetting. No. So I get two dice. Uh, to channels, so yeah. five plus from the sorcerer. Nope, arcane arm. No. I don't think I'm gonna be stopping whatever you cast. Uh, I'm gonna go with soul quench on the on the uh, skull crushers. To cast. Yeah, you go. Uh, okay, so I'll just leave that counter on them. Two yeah. d six strength, four hits. Mm -hmm. He's seven. Mm -hmm. And four to win. Three. Three. And uh, one and a half saves goes down to a two up. It does, but you're going to roll some ones. Probably. Two ones? No, no nah, one. he's fine. And then my second trick, I'm going to Arcane on Forge one. Not for any reason other than the fact it's that there's a wound on your armor save and no armor save. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I can't, I can't even. If I roll a six, it's only seven and seven and five is 12, not 13. So. Oh, well. All right. Previous editions had him in miscast. That didn't very upset. <laughs> but, um... Uh, shooting, the you, it's, uh, you can shoot. You can shoot the skull crushers. I can, yeah, but I'm gonna shoot these warriors' cows. They're in range. Thirteen inches. I would assume they're in range. Yeah, they are. So that's building into the warriors in the woods. Yep. Uh, fours for long range. Fives for the cover. Five hits. Five to win. Indeed. No None. I'm obviously saving my dice for those combats. Mm. Then that will segue us nicely into combat, to be honest. I think it will. So, where would you like There's to start? There's none of the exciting combats. I was hoping we'd have other combats so we could like, build the suspense thing, but there literally is just one. There's a Frost Hearts fight in both units. As, a, as it is your turn, I'll give you the chance. The thing is, Chaos are not particularly honourable, are they? You can accept with someone else if if, uh, if I declare it with him. I could. It's a big boy beatdown. I think that the internet shame of you uh, of you taking it with someone that isn't uh, Archeon would be uh, too great for even you to bear. Uh, I've, I've seen the wig. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with Lethal Tizzle Issues a Challenge. Uh, the unit champ accepts. Oh, no! No, 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 I'm just I'm joking. Arthur <laughs> will accept the challenge. <laughs> that would be amazing. Should we move them out? Yeah, let's so, take them out. Like, obviously, you wouldn't normally do this, but um, it's much cooler if we put them here and have like a little uh, a standoff. Tete a tete, as the French would say. Lovely. So that's that. Um, so. Where would you look? Well, well let's, let's do the unexciting stuff. Let's okay. do the non challenge. Fear check, so Warriors Chaos. They're fine. And the Gore Beast. He's fine he as well. Fine. <laughs> so there's still the that was, one, that, was one, that was one Mickey Mouse impression though. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Scott's little face behind the camera. <laughs> so he's so upset with you. <laughs> right, so always strikes first guys. We're we'll starting yes. with Dragon Princes. Uh, champion. Regular one. Weapon skill five? Regular two. Weapon skill five. Five to four. Five to it. Be fives to hit, yeah, unfortunately. Definitely took the wrong, uh, wrong spells. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Let's wow. use our always strikes first. An initiative of six. Let's go again. That's better. It's not great still. It is. There was another one in there. Was it? There oh. was three hits in there. Thanks, Max. Right. Uh, strength five? Strength five. Three. 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 Four wounds. That's pretty cool. Triple crown as well. Six of arm saves? Yes. No. I fear you may break the steadfast, which is going to be unfortunate. The uh, could all be over now, mate. This could be the championship <laughs> round. The short, short end of the big boy beatdown. If Tyrion runs him down, I'm still taking the victory. No, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Lion charioteers? Lion charioteers. Uh, no hits. No hits there. Uh, white lions themselves. Mm -hmm. One hit. one hit. Five. No, no wounds. It's a one. Uh, and then I'll do my three horses. They always kill more than the uh, <laughs> riders anyway. One hit. Mm -hmm. 
No wounds. And we'll finish up with a frost heart. Four attacks. Hitting on fours. So he is attacking the Warriors of Chaos. Yes. Sorry, I should make that clear. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Three to wound. Minus one Three to wound. One, one wound. wound. One six up. Six up all Yeah. Pew. All right, my attack back then. Dead fast is now gone. Got, unless you kill a dragon unless prince. I kill a dragon prince. Which I'm hopeful to do. Nah, you'd be, I'll be fine. Um, I'm probably going to be fine. So, BSB. Oh, I've got to kill a dragon prince here to break. You still want your thunder? I've also, uh, you're still minus some strength, which I like. Yeah. Oh, you still got two up arms, though. Mm. Well, no, three, three up arms, so yeah. So, BSB. Hits twice. Yep. Strength four, so three to wound. Yep. Two wounds. Two yeah. three up arms. Three up armor saves. Oh, six up wall save, mate. Here comes the crown. Nah, you've done it. Got your steadfast back until I thunder stomp you off. Yeah. Um, so my warriors there um, will have. Is this guy in? Yes. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. So four guys there. So one, two, three, four, five supports. Try and everything in the crowd to build that suspense to the championship battle. And then one for champ. Yep. So hitting on force, force. That's good five. Right. You love to see it. <laughs> if only we had some sort of leech lord in this unit to help us out here, but unfortunately. Uh, three sword. Yeah. Three wounds. <laughs> On the threes. <laughs> three plus armor saves. Okay. Second time's a charm. Uh, the Gorbys. Well, the guys on top of the Gorbys. Yep. They're going to take the Lion Chariot. Yep. So, force to it. Two hits. Uh, force to win. Strength five normally. Yeah. Got, they got halberds. Yep. Yeah. One wound, minus one. Uh, so this will be a five up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. The Gore Beast itself. You've also got uh, two Warriors Cows by the cross heart, so we're only going to. Beast itself. One hit. And fours. No wounds. Is it going awfully? And the. Arkin hasn't even stabbed any of his own men yet. Yeah, no, he hasn't. I love it. He might, he, might, he might take those hits himself. Yeah, oh, he might have to. <laughs> It's lucky he's got an armor. This is running around shirtless just to be his Irish ear and helmet on. <laughs> right, and so, and then we've got uh, Force to it, the Frosty, with six stacks. That's pretty bad. Six, six, is, the six is the wound. Why? Yeah. Uh, so this be a six up armor save? Yep. And a five plus wound save. Yeah. That's the thing you wound. Get wounded. <laughs> Four left. Alright, do you want to do your thunders or do you want to do the challenge first? Let's do the thunders, get them out of the way for fun. Roll that one. Two. Ooh. Threes. Two wins. I'm still fast though, which is... Yeah, uh, two six ups. Oh yeah, two six ups. You strength five, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm still steadfast for the round. I'm just going to check the book. He might have nine attacks. <laughs> I have nine attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he hasn't. Well, frost, are you? He's, he's Tyrion's on frost. <laughs> Tyrion on frost. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be super, super unpleasant. Well, James didn't mention at the beginning, this is a Tyrion avatar of Kane as well. <laughs> Can <Could laughs> you imagine? That wouldn't even be a competition, <laughs> mate. <laughs> right, so regular lethal tizzle. Lethal tizzle. Uh, Weft skill nine? Weft skill nine. In a fuck. It's unbelievable, that. Mark another. He'll have a reroll. He will oh, not. Wow. <laughs> He's going to blow his breath as well, yep. obviously. So which two, is, six, six. This is going to be two crowns, you know that, didn't Probably. you? Ah, not very good. Strength four. Strength four. So, so five, so He's going to run you down, mate. He's not even going to run you through. <laughs> He's going to run you down. I see. Come on, then. Toughness. Five. Five. He's careful. Two wounds. Two wounds. Strength four. So he, had, he is mounted with his shield for five up, so six up arm save. I want you to blow good dice here. Two fives. Nope. Yeah, and then and then this is two ones. Two three or what's this? <laughs> it's a malady that kicks me in the head. Yeah, man. He's fine. He's fine. He's all right. I have serious, baby. Right. That's what I actually wanted to destroy, not his arm. Um. Yeah. Because I'm strength seven, so I can wound. I, yeah. I can get through his armor. I can't get through his ones. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. So. Gonna run away though. <laughs> Embarrassing. We are now. <laughs> We are now here deciding whether we want to unleash the Barabuzal. How many times have we left? I've got one. One of 
not enough to stop you being steadfast. Why don't I place the wound for the steadfast? If you unleash the eye, uh, the, uh, the blade. I haven't taken any wounds, so I could take them on myself. Yeah? I can, I'd love to see that. I can though. split them as well. I believe I can split them. Whatever you need to do. You know what? We are in the big boy down. We, we need to, we, we're going to throw everything we have into this. The, the coup de grace, as it were. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Whispers a word of power, leashes a grace of demon out of the sword. <laughs> Stabs himself four times. <laughs> Hand trembling of oh, power. I'm deeply concerned. Um... <laughs> so, we are going to do ten attacks. No ones. All, all ones. All fours. All ones. So, ten attacks, because uh, once you unleash the power of Uzul, it does double his attacks to a maximum of ten. If he is allowed to have his mark of corn in there as well, Obviously, he'd get 12 next. It's not gonna matter, he's gonna roll 8 ones. 8 ones. Yeah. James is betting on 8 ones. I'm gonna say, I'm going 2 ones. 2 ones. 2 ones. Okay. So, he's gonna be so upset. Hit on 4 2 ones! 2 ones, nice. So, we'll do those in a second. Uh, let's do them now, let's get them over and done with. Phase 1 met, that's 1 miss as well. That's pretty good. So, 7 hits on Tyrion. So, um, tap him on yourself. Let me submit a card first. <laughs> He's gonna take them on himself. He's gonna fail both his ward saves, and then my horse is gonna go <laughs> kick him oh, in the head. God. In fact, my horse should be attacking before him because uh, he's watched us off. <laughs> he's doing your attacks first. Build the suspense. So this is my land here himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've had a mare. We've had a mare. Excuse me. Uh, but any hit rolls of a one will strike over himself or a friendly model in base contact, controlling players. I can. You can allocate him as you want, yeah. So he'll do one to himself and do one to the guy. Okay, so one to his regiment. It's one to himself. He's only straight four now as well. So he still kills one. And one to himself, he's straight four, so, yeah, he, so needs... he needs fives. I still him, still kill him. How about with you out now? No, no wounds to himself. Seven hits on me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should do all my hits to us. Is that seven or eight? Right? That is might have up the one, yeah. So strength four now, toughness three? Yep, three. Three to wound. There goes Cast Dwarf. That is five wounds. That is five wounds, ignoring his arm save. So I'm going to just take the four, first four wound saves. Yes, because you have got the, um, the Heart of Avalon. <laughs> oh! That's all his wounds! Yeah, he's dead. But two plus, he comes back to life. Oh, wound. Oh, 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 Not so lethal. Just, just more, just, more just, just tizzle. Just tizzle. Anyway, <laughs> <this way. laughs> hey, we still got Donald on the scene of the Kick your head off. He's only straight four now, don't he? Is he straight five? He's straight five base. Okay, he's straight four. Kick your head off, mate. Uh, where's he got? Uh, five. Four. <laughs> That's outrageous. I think he's fine. The horse is a better fighter than eight. No, he's still four. <laughs> the horse is a better fighter than eighty percent of the empire. <laughs> so hit on five. Just done nine on you. So five to it, just need one. No. <laughs> oh my god. This is a scary one today. So, um, I think you won the combat. Uh, well... What? Is that eight casualties? Uh, it is eight casualties. You're gonna run, that's gonna be upset. Oh no, you're still steadfast. I am still steadfast, yeah. So eight casualties, uh, I charged you, I have flag. Uh, you did three casualties. You have two flags. I did four, I did five wounds. Oh yeah, sorry. Two more. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, one, two. Does he count as all four of those wins? And a rank. You put my two bags uh, in there? Yep. You lose by one. Okay. I thought it was going to be a draw combat there for a moment. No, just one. So, Leech at 10, because I am set fast. The, and Leech at 9 for the Gorbis, because he is not set fast. Yep. So, Warriors will do them first. That's brave. <laughs> He's brave. Warriors, Leech at 10. <laughs> Gorbis. Leech at 9. Yeah. I love how I finished the second part I got. Excuse me! Well, uh, that was a... <laughs> wow! Just, 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 uh, just Tizzle was Archie just like... Argh! Next turn, mate, all hits, all wounds, and he's going to deck you before you can kill me. I can feel it. Bare chest. And, has he only got three wounds? Four wounds. Four wounds. Okay. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's the end of my turn. Mate. That is the end of a, a very, well, toward the 
Man, what's a good turn, was it? Let's be honest. Yeah, in turn four, so it's going to go to Chaos, turn five. Yep. So on to Chaos, turn five, then. <laughs> uh, the thing is, he's just being a top gen Tyrion here. He's, he's, just, he's letting you. He's made it exciting for the viewers because he's gonna he's gonna deck it this turn. You know what he's well, done? He's let me get into false and security. That's it. Okay. That's it. And then he's just gonna be like, Whoppa! You may have lulled after. And then it's gonna be over. Dorgar threatened last turn. <laughs> Dorgar was threatening. To Arkin, do it last. he's in a lot of trouble, mate. I know it looks it looks bleak, but that's uh, that's just the way he wants you to. He may he may be in a lot that's... of trouble with just with just a shield, boots, and bare chest and cape. Yeah, that's because his generalship goes up to eleven. Other people's only goes up to ten. <laughs> his, his goes up to eleven. Oh, I see. Is yeah. that, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And are you thinking? You're thinking you could just make like generalship ten better. Mm. Eleven. Eleven. Top notch. <laughs> Just turn, turn, turn it all. I'm off. Right, shall we do some charges? No. <laughs> I think I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of flame counter altogether. I think that you've got to pass a crazy test first. I do have to pass a crazy test first. And oh. I think he's gonna fail. I mean, he's the closest. He's oh, he might be over there. He's over there, isn't he? No, I'm saying what's gonna be yeah. the closest. Yeah, anyway, crazy test, leash nine. Oh, I saw the six. <laughs> so yeah, charges. They're gonna go into the sea guard. They're gonna flee. <laughs> they gonna flee? Are they, yeah, they both going in. Yes. Uh, I'll stand and shoot against the chariot, and I'll flee against the uh, warriors. Can you do that? Yeah. Can you actually do that? Yeah, oh, okay. you declare that one. Mm -hmm. Pick a one you're declaring first, and then I basically... I thought he was only under the pressure you can only do one stand uh, charge reaction at a turn. No, you do a charge reaction to each thing, and I am far enough away. So I'll, I'll stand and shoot against them, mm -hmm. and then they'll charge, and I'll flee. Okay. Exciting. So... Uh, will only be fire fours this time for stand and shoot. Yes. <laughs> Alright. I wouldn't describe that as good. Fix this to wind it. One. Three of one, please. He's fine, he's fine. So, do I do my charge? I do his charge now then. Uh, no. You declare that charge. I have to, well, so I have to, do, I have to do my charge. No, no, you do declare. Is it not? Then I react. Mm -hmm. So he then declares I react, he declares I react. Do I not do my charges between the reaction? No, you don't know. You, then you do your charge distance and move all your charges. So I flee now. <laughs> 12. Alright, wait well. Although I flee from these guys. So. I think you're the big elves, yeah? <laughs> Look, that's why I see the, the bowlers, that's why I see the marines. Mate, they literally are. Like millimeters onto the uh, table. Scurry away? Uh, no, no, not quite. We we'll save that for a scaven deep dive. Um, so I might as well, I'll do, I'll do my charges then. Yep, you're gonna do your foul charges. Can you make it? I might be able to. 20? 20. Can you do it? Yeah, on a double 20 six. on a double six, you can catch me. You ready? Double six. Go, no. go, Jared. Go! Thing you get away from this, yeah. <laughs> That's a 20-inch charge. Woo, <laughs> that was a big one. Ooh, look at Karacha Hall's playing in the background. He comes charging in. <laughs> oh my word! Double crown. <laughs> oh, absolutely. The injustice. Obscene. The injustice. There, Charles. <laughs> I don't really care what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a little amble forward too. They're just two inches forward. They saw, they saw that beautiful charge. The horror, mate. The oh. horror. Uh, are you declaring with the hand I would have declared with the hand yes. Yeah, so I'll have to flee. Mm -hmm. so unless I roll three ones, I think this bird is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I think it's a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, that kind of well, that was a quite a good charge face. Uh, his charge, he's going two six, he's going five inches. I think I've just conceded the flank. <laughs> Possible. Uh, sorry, we should have checked all the charges oh, yes. with these guys as well um, before we started rolling dice. Um, I'll make you charge me. Okay, that's cool. Do you want to test the restraint? I will test the restraint. Leash your mate. <laughs> now I'm going to make you charge me. Um, yeah. I love the fact you think there's going to be a turn after this one. Our kids are going to probably kill me. <laughs> Wait, sorry, let me put my helmet back on. 
Obviously, you're gonna die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's that then, yeah? Magic. Magic this indeed. This is it, mate. I've just realised what's gonna happen. Archeon. Going down the hill. Going down the hill, mate. Dimensional cascade. Yeah, nine. That's where he's going, mate. Nine dice, so five to James. No channel for me. Uh, five plus for the white sorcerer. Does not sit the... Oh, Archeon sorry. does not either. No. Sorry, he's got enough to go down the hill. Right. I'm just, I'm just grasping at anything at this point. Grasping straws. <laughs> yeah. Watching the demons grasp at your, uh, your Archeon. Now, unfortunately, out of, out of range for glitter robes, which is a shame. Oh, there's nothing for it, mate. You have to flame cage the, uh, the uh, arch <laughs> in the building. <laughs> nothing for it. Uh, well. Stop. Six dice translation of on Dragon Princess. Okay. I've got nothing else to do, to be honest. I need to try and get something as well. Six dice translation of lead. It does go off. So that is uh, going to affect Tyrion too. Yeah, it will affect Tyrion as well. As if we weren't in quite enough hot water. It actually doesn't make a lot of difference. It's just the arm so. Which you ignore. No, it's the arm so. Well, Dorval yeah, Dor 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 doesn't, Dor Dor doesn't ignore the arm. So. Also affects them too. They go through skill. It's, it's mainly the armor side. Oh, yeah. I do miss fast. Is he going down the aisle? No, he's going to power drain. Power drain. So D3, so power drain, D3 wizard levels are lost. So he's no longer a wizard. He's no longer a wizard. So that's all they're gone. I'm going to just put these dice over here. Yep. Didn't need those. Uh, so he's no longer a wizard, but the spell will stay on because it's not a remainder in place. Yes, that's right. Is that all your dice? No, I two less. Two less. Are you, sorry, are you planning on using them? No. <laughs> okay. We're not going to use them. So. Combat. Combat's indeed. Fear checks. I was, yeah. hoping, I was hoping for some ablative combat as well. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to be that today, is it? So, fear check is with uh, nothing but beatdown, mate. Archeon, he won't be affected by the fear because he causes terror himself. Okay. So, I'll be the you. Uh, is that how that works? No, if he causes terror, the unit causes terror. So, they'll all be, I didn't feel they'll they'll all be fine. I didn't no, it's immune psychology that doesn't carry over. I thought it was fear as well. No, no, they're fine. They would, or I might need to test. Okay. But the Gorbis will. He causes fear, he knows. You are scary, you are terror causing. Ooh! BSB reroll. Least five. <laughs> really testing my patience. Leadership 10 chaos just feels so unnatural to me. Um, <laughs> Alright, so. Dragon Princess? Dragon Princess. They hit on five, so we're on five? I bet you don't do better this turn. <laughs> yeah, so far. Always strikes first. Number one. Dice aren't with me here. Five to wound. Uh, two wounds, two. I'll take that. So two, it's four. literally as good as last turn. <laughs> two, four of arms, those then. Oh, it's definitely as good as last turn. <laughs> there goes the steadfast. Off your steadfast pops. Um, and it's like you're in four dragon princes. You gotta kill Tyrion now, mate, otherwise this is all over. Oh, you think it is? Uh, and then my white lions, my yes. white lion crew. No, no hits. hits. The actual cats themselves. One, One hit. No wounds. No wounds. I think yeah, that's a very good round here on those. And the bird who's still minus one strength. He is. Fours. Three no, hits. No, that's unfortunate. Threes. Two wounds. Two, two six, six ups. Arms, Double crown, come on, let's do it over there, let's do it again. No, no, two. And then three horses, obviously. Let's not miss them. Let's miss them. <laughs> let's just leave it there. Alright, so my attack's back then, yeah? Yep. We'll start with the Gore Beast. We'll just work our way down that way. Yep. Obviously, going to attack the Lion Chariot. So We're doing this wrong, aren't we? Because Archeon goes before. Oh, they're all Ice Strikes last, so they'll start with the Chariot. Yeah. So the. Gorbis against so the Crook Chariot is on against the Lion Chariot. Yep. One, two, two hits. hits this time. Uh, force the wounds still. Yep. Oh, two wounds. Minus two, one. Five pluses. Oh. Uno. Big hulking gorilla. Could, could, could finish him off. Could. I'm hoping to finish it off. So, force to it. There goes the dice. One hit. That's all you need. It's all you need, baby. For us. Force the wound. It's <laughs> the crown. Five plus. Strength four. Yeah! Ah, there's the crown. That's what you get. 
Right, am I attacked into everyone else then? So we're gonna do, do one to the frosty. Two on the frosty because they they have to attack the frostal phoenix. So in the frosty on fours. One it. Six is the wound. That brings on frosty. And on to the dragon princess. So with BSB. Uh, hit on threes. Let's go seven. All hit. Angry man. And then three to wound, top and three. Not so strong though. Just the one. Just the one. A minus one for the armor. So three plus? Uh, four plus because of the translation. So right, that's, that's the six. So we're fine. So the rest of the guys attacking. So we've got four regular dudes up front. One. You'll hit me on threes now. Three, so. Four. And then the champ. And the support. Yeah, we got your whistle four now, aren't we? Yeah. It? Might be quite. I need to get rid of four here at least. Yep. So. Freeze to it. Did make a bit of difference there. Yeah, quite a bit. And three to wound. Yep. So four, four of arm saves. And he's so, all of these. Four plus armor. Nah. Oh, here comes the six up wall save. No. Nah. That's pretty good. It's just a one. There goes the steps last then. I am banking now on. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my thunder stomp before we uh, yeah. before you morally win by killing Tyrion. <laughs> thunder stomp, three. three. Three wounds, though. I'll take that. Oh, you strength five. I've got six alarms, though. Yes, you do. No. Oh! <laughs> That's that. Lethal, right. Lethal tizzle. Just, uh, <laughs> just tizzle. Fives. So four attacks and tizzle then. Again. He just doesn't want to hit he you. He doesn't mate. want to hit us all, no. Uh, two stories of that. One wound. One wound. So I go straight through my short, uh, short? my shield yeah, and shield. mounted bonus. So yeah. three up ward save. Yeah, he's fine. After our ward save is massive. Yeah. You passed everyone on him so far. So, uh, horse. Uh, what's with the horse? Five, I think. Man, he's got five. I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna check, but I've got a strong feeling you might be. No, he's only four. What so he's six is to hit me. No tips. <clears throat> Alright. My attack's back then. Uh, so turn attack's back for the Slayer of, Slayer of Kings. Just so, maybe Grandad's armor to sort this out. <laughs> That's it. So you're now going down to a score eight. Yeah. So I'm now hitting your threes as well. Yep. Hit on three. Let's go nine, let's score eight. No ones. <laughs> no ones at all. A nine hit. Wow. And then toughness three. Thoughts have betrayed me. They did. They uh, especially came to the, the beat down itself. Yeah, it really betrayed me. To know that inflict a wound is most one-sided thing. So then freeze the wound. That is six six war saves from Arco. One at a time. Obviously. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. We wanted to get a bit further along than that, didn't the we? The last one. So Tyrion failed by Arkham. I have, it may be a moral draw because if I turn into a spawn or a demon prince and I don't currently have one <laughs> on me right now. So Arkham, he obviously is, he has the eye of gods on him. He needs to offer up Tyrion. He needs to turn into a spawn. Tyrion's head on a, Tyrion's head in hand. He's gonna see the rolls. No. So I think I. Possible attack? Yeah, it might be possible. No, it's like a possible attack, possible strength. Yeah. He's un, not important, possible attack. Doesn't matter he's already unleashed the Slayer of King, so he's a max. He's max out of attacks anyway. So that is that, and then. We've got to work it out. We'll work it out, yes. Um, you, I'm probably gonna run, be run down here. So, um. You did a wound on Tyrion. See, that's the positive about all the wounds you did last turn. You get like no combat rest for killing yeah. him. <laughs> I did two Oh, wounds. saying that, I do need to take those other three ward saves because they're overkill wounds. They are overkill wounds, yeah. So let's just do those. So I get two of those two as well. More. So two wounds for the Lion Chariot. You did. Right, you do. And I've you killed a Dragon Prince. And I've got two banners. And you have two banners. I might actually win this one. You might do. Uh, I, you killed five. There's a banner. I, I win. You do. Wow. Uh, I'm on a two leadership. So leadership. Uh, they are still. They are still said. No, no, they're not steadfast. No. 
Uh, I'm just checking if that reduces their leadership no, at all. It no, it's not. No, so they're, they're going to be seven. Yep. He's going to be seven. Yep. And they're going to be eight. They're going to be stubborn eight. Because they're stubborn. So, stubborn eight chariot. He's fine. Oh, I've wasted a seven. <laughs> Frosty or Dragon Princes? Dragon Princes. Yeah, they're running. <laughs> they're running. Frosty. And Frosty. Need him to pass. He yeah, does. He does. So the banner from the. It doesn't die because I have to chase you to get that, don't I? No, it does because so I broke from combat and they play 10. But. As are the rules for the big boy beatdown. That is the end of the beatdown. That is going to be uh, the final act of the beatdown today. Arkan does hold up Tyrion's head aloft in hand, bare chested and all, in a fur coat. I'm going to be going back to all fun and I'm making some calls because I've got a strong feeling someone paid Tyrion to take a dive. <laughs> <laughs> An inquiry shall yeah, be had. It's going to be some sort of internal inquiry. Well, no, that back in a... Phoenix Court, someone definitely gave him gave his bum to take a dive, mate. <laughs> Just under, <laughs> under, under the table. Put back our money. When you fight Archean, just go down in a second. <laughs> <laughs> so some may say Finnebar the Seafarer made a lot of money on this fight. <laughs> but no, that is, that is the end of the turn five for the Chaos. And that is the end of the game because of the beatdown conditions have been met. Yeah, it's well played, mate. Unfortunately, GG. We'll do that. And then we'll go into the post game after this. Yeah. So hold tight, guys. So, does that settle the question? In my in my old chaos heart, blackened by death and destruction, I believe it does answer the question, but I'm gonna pass over to my fellow compatriot over here. James, does that answer the question for you? I've had a lot of, there's been a lot of chatter uh, between- Amongst the nobles of all uh, five. Yeah, basically, uh, I, after that last turn, a lot of chatter, I've been getting some texts, uh, a couple of emails. Apparently, Othari and the Grim had a lot of money riding on this. Oh, I so, see, okay. Um, we're obviously going to launch an internal investigation and then, you know, have to do this again at some point. <laughs> Still, no, not a, never a straight answer from an elf, to be honest. Always they're backwards, back and forwards of it all. But it, I believe it does answer the question of the beatdown he was today. So, yeah, Arken has beaten Tyrion in what was unsurprisingly... The studio's eating me. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit windy on this, on our day here in the studio. <laughs> But, um, but no, I believe it does answer the question that uh, Arkham has been interior quite soundly. It was pretty savage, I must say. But yeah, it does answer the question, guys. So, moving on from that, James, what was your favourite moment? Turn one was just a good thing, wasn't it? <laughs> I think if we stopped the game then... At turn one, yeah? Yeah, I think I'd be happier about the outcome. I mean, <laughs> you, 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 you are right to assume this. At turn one was absolutely outrageous. Turn one... Uh... Really, from that point, it just got... It progressively worse. It started to drop a little bit down, going down here from there. But yes. Um, what about for you, mate? For me, it was probably the, the run <laughs> down, the run down charge of the cow's chariot. <laughs> Choo -choo! The twenty-inch pain train <laughs> charge. As I said, the drivers pressed like a barrage of horns uh, and um, came charging across the field. To be honest, the that was proper funny. I can't, I can't even be angry about it. It was I, a proper funny charge. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I can't. Be like, can, can I even make it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I called it all. You ready for the double six yeah. shot? Double <laughs> door! But no, it was, um, that was, good. No, that was my favourite moment of the. Um, that was very good. Well, on that note, then, I think it is time for the loser's apology. Yes, sir, James. So, in all of this, I think you do have some choice words to say to all the fans outside. Look, uh, you know, folks, I'm sorry that uh, you had to see Arky and cheat his way to victory. Uh, I'm sorry that you had to watch Max win. I'm sorry that Tyrion was a chump. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terry opens a jump to one hit. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> but no, I'm not. sorry, Max. Well played. Archeon is the bigger boy in this uh, in today's scenario. And that is exactly all the chieftains out there want to hear. Stay tuned, guys. We are going to be well, bringing more content in the future. Visit Triple Crown Wargame as well. Join Knights of the Realm. And you'll be at more fantastic content from there. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Remember to tag your friends and like, subscribe, and share today. What, what are you doing, mate? I'm, I'm sharing. It's all sharing. Oh. Head over to TripleCrownWarGaming.com and become a knight of the realm today.